please welcome to the Go and Roll Club, Maxine Peak. That's the whole reason why I, why I call this the Go and Roll Club. This podcast is because I, whenever I, you know, do scenes or whatever, if we have to stick to the script to, for for whatever reason, then we'll do a few takes to, to the script. But then. I always like to say, okay, let's go rogue now. See what happens. Brilliant. And just and nine times out of ten, that's the best yeah. performance. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Because if if an actor knows if you've got the work in there, the foundations in there, what the scene's about, then it is. You just let something fly, and within the boundaries, you always get something. I don't know, something sort of much more electric, don't you? Yeah. And freeing. Yeah. I mean, I so I don't like improvising as when I know. <laughs> The groundwork hasn't been done. Yeah, you see, exactly, and you just yeah. go, oh, all right, everyone's just shouting now. Yes, and we're not telling a story, yeah. are we? But when exactly. it's when it's done, like you say, do a scene, yeah, and forget it, yeah, throw it in the air, yeah, and then go and yeah, and and what's most important is when and, and a lot of actors these days that I that I see in auditions, and I know it's hard in auditions, but like just listen to each other. Yeah, that's the most important thing. Yeah, and you can always tell when an actor's not listening. Yeah, do you know what I mean? Because they're just. Going through the motions. Well, acting is reacting. Exactly. That's all it is, it's quite simple. You know what I mean? Who was it? Was it was it Spencer Chase or something? It was basically hit your mark, look at yeah. them in the eye, listen and respond. Yeah. Yeah. And that's yeah, yeah, yeah. that's it. And it's I mean, I've not really studied it. I did a few sort of what's on like on Meisner, but just that's that what thing I, yeah, of, that's my thing. Meisner. Of just absorbing what's around you. Yeah. Being present in, in the moment. And, yeah. and 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 yet don't there's not you know, and I know we get bogged down in creating characters, but I remember a director always saying to me, if you say someone else's lines, you are a different character. Yeah. You know, because that was yeah. my old thing of going, I've got to be different. I've got to look yeah, different. Yeah, I've got to yeah, sound yeah. different. I've got to be unrecognized. And then sometimes it was like, well, you know, you're just so worried about that rather than yeah. telling the story and creating a moment. But also as well, you know, you've got to, you know, you've got to bring an element of yourself to every role yeah. anyway, because yeah. you're the you're the vessel who's, yeah. you know, carrying this, this well, role. And you can tell, can't you, because... It, there's those actors that really give you, you know, we're just talking about Stevie Graham. Stevie mm. doesn't know. They give you your soul. You get you get a real insight into their Absolutely. soul, don't you? Absolutely. And some actors, I mean, and I don't know. It's it's you know, it's horses course, isn't it? With what people think's good acting, what people think's not so good. It's not that everything anyone's a bad actor. There's just actors that you gravitate towards because yeah. you go, it's those that you go, oh, they they giving me a little bit something yeah. more than laying. They've opened themselves up here, and yeah. it feels a bit dangerous, you know. Yeah, I, that's it. It's it's about being uncomfortable and mm. and and but, but going with it. You know what I mean? I think I think if you come out of a scene and be like, I've no idea what just happened there. Yeah, that's the best. And you know, trust in the director as well to be like, yeah. we've got it. Believe me, we've got it. Because some well, actors exactly. don't. Yeah, yeah. They don't. They they don't. Like I worked with an actor um, recently who. We insisted on seeing the takes back and the monitor and stuff, and I, and I was like, please don't, no. please trust me, because it's just an insecurity thing. But <clears throat> as soon as you see yourself doing something, you're like, oh shit, I'm not going to do that again, or I better watch that, and then it becomes you just yeah. become a bit thing, you know. I know. I say, you know, I was sort of joke. I got at the read through. Never mind the doubt. Go and find the editor. Go and say hello yeah, to the yeah, editor yeah, first yeah, and yeah, foremost. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Introduce your yourself because they will do. Because that's what I learned. I remember doing scenes and going, oh, this is terrible. It's going to be so awful. And then seeing the edit and going, oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. They took yeah. all that out. And actually, of course, there's, there's, it's not just about you. You yeah. are a part. The actor is one part of the whole yeah. sort of story. And, and you, you forget that it's not, camera's not going to run you all the way through yeah, the yeah. scene, picking up everything. Yeah. And things can be moved around. Exactly. And taken and put and... <clears throat> But yeah, no, I I don't like. I never when people say, "Do you want to watch anything back?" and I think not because I get I just go into a depression. Then I just go, "Can I yeah. do it again? Can I yeah. do it again? Can I do it again?" And That's then it, it, yeah. you just get so far away from, you know, what you were initially trying to achieve or yeah. or, or what the the spontaneous sort of yeah. It's like the was. whole thing with like, <clears throat> you know, the self tape thing. Now you know when you go to auditions. When I was acting, you know, you go to auditions, you get one chance or maybe two chances. That's you yeah. do again. With self tapes now, you know you you can do it for hours and hours and hours yeah. until you feel you've got it right. But I think you know sometimes I think actors that's that's a bit of their downfall because then suddenly you've got twenty takes of something and you're like so blindsided like which one do I send? Yeah, yeah. you know, and it's and it all just becomes you know you're sort of dialing it in. Anyway. Yeah, I can't. I have a very low success rate with self tapes. <laughs> <laughs> I've been doing this thing on Twitter every time, so I'm like, yeah, I, I'm very open, and I will admit yeah, it. Yeah. I mean, my heart sinks. Um, I mean, sometimes I say to me, no, I can't. 
Yeah. You know, and they'll go, well, if you've got to be, you've got, I go, what's the point? And it'll be some big American yeah, movie. Yeah, and yeah, I go, yeah, yeah. I'm wasted. And then sometimes you go, oh, oh who got it? All oh, right. So what was I just so they could have a giddle between? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, and I just think, oh, I can't. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know, and and I suppose it's the wrong attitude. It depends how much you 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 want that, but I just don't know how. So I've got mates who just you know bang them out, and they just yeah. they have huge success rates. But I just can't. Yeah, yeah. I just uh, yeah, it's just that thing of going. Oh no, I'm gonna have to sit in the, the spare bedroom with my phone on it and my poor fella. Yeah, like his little face, and I go, yeah, 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 <laughs> "Can yeah. you read in?" And yeah. he's like, oh, "Do I have to?" And I'm like, "Please," <laughs> <laughs> and then going, "No." Don't read it like that. Yeah, He's like, yeah, I'm not yeah, an yeah. actor. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's funny from my side of it as well now, looking at like self tapes, and you can always tell like the sort of the, the people who dragged the mums in or the, the nan in, or you know what I mean? They're not actors, they're just reading it. I had one the other week, and it was like, oh, bless them. You know, they, they were coming in for like a smallish role, but like they were they were great. But then the, the whoever was off camera was also reading the stage directions as well. So it was like an, they were narrating the whole thing and I just was like oh gosh brilliant it's although amazing. I did do a self tape for a friend of mine for a responder she did a self tape really? and I read in really yeah, with a really bad <laughs> oh eyes. I love that <laughs> oh my god <laughs> and my, she's my best mate and I was, we were laughing because I kept saying to her right what's this scene I was going right I've got some pyjamas upstairs she was like oh, I'm exhausted she, she literally went oh I'm like so yeah, yeah, exhausted because yeah, 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 yeah. I was going right sit on the bed right you're on the phone do this do this right let's do right oh, you're on a night god. out let's put your hair up put your oh, hair up here put it. this in <laughs> And Rain's just going, why, you're louder than me. Can you yeah, bring yeah, it down? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Imagine they have been like, is that Maxine Peake in the background? Get it in. She's brilliant. They're probably going, she would have got it, but God, who was she doing? Who was she beating with? They were terrible. <laughs> oh, God, I love it. Well, listen, welcome to the Going Road Club. Thank it's, you. Um, it's an honour to have you here. Oh, it's, well, it's an honour to be here. I absolutely love your work and, you know, I've done for many, many years. Thank you. Um, so yeah, it's a real, real pleasure to to talk to you. And um, I mean, I've got some questions, but we'll just have a chat. You know what I mean? So, uh, what do you, have you always wanted to be an actress? What was where, where did you where did you start out and stuff? You know, because the whole thing about this podcast is I want to talk to people who have not come up the conventional way yeah. or have not. You know, I know you went to RADA, but you didn't just get into RADA. Yeah, and you yeah. know, and you, you're working class and all that kind of stuff. It's you know, that's the the other people I want to talk to because I think listeners who are out there, you know, who want to get into this industry, whether it be actors, directors, producers, whatever, that are sit, sat there in, in the houses or whatever going, oh, I could never do that. Yeah. Well, yeah. you can. Yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? Yeah, I was if I can do it, anybody <laughs> And me as well. <laughs> God. Yeah. yeah. But... Uh, if yeah. you always wanted to, to, to act. I think when I was younger, it was, it was about performing. I didn't mm. really understand the concept of acting and I think it's that thing when you don't when you've got no um connection or any you know there's no there was no but obviously nobody that I knew or family knew you know acting was a million miles away it was mm. this mythical sort mm. of profession that yeah. other people did um but I I wanted to, so I wanted to be a stand-up I wanted to do yeah. comedy yeah because that, that was the, I think was the first thing I realized when I was younger that making people laugh was that reaction yeah and that slightly ad addiction you get to you yeah, know yeah. Um, and it's obviously tapped into s s my ego somewhere that <laughs> you know so um and i just remember like when my dad was still at home watching a lot of comedies with him and i always think it, something based comes from that about you know that was the thing that we did together we watched comedies and and then being able to make my dad laugh was quite a, a big you know what i mean it always mm. felt like a bit of an achievement yeah so and i was and i was the class clown right <laughs> I mean, I was, you know, I, I, yeah, I was a, sh you know, a show off, it? but mm. I don't know. It was, it was just once you, you, you realise you can get a reaction out of people, yeah. and then that becomes so that became my sort of thing at school, you know. Yeah. And then I remember a teacher saying to me, you know, you should do comedy, and then that it only next one, you know, it's like anything, one good comment, and then one bad comment can send you the other way. Of course, yeah. So when I was at primary school, and I thought, yeah, I want to, I want to do that, and I, you know, and then. Seeing Victoria Wood and mm. Julie Walters and, and Marty Kane as well and people mm. and, and those women and thinking maybe I could because they yeah. don't sound and they weren't actors so it still wasn't about acting. Mm. 
And, and I remember Nicky being obsessed with adverts. Really? <laughs> I used to look at adverts. I used to go, I'd love to be an advert. Oh, yeah, <laughs> I didn't, yeah, yeah, I didn't yeah, have yeah. huge aspirations of being <laughs> Just a film be an star. Advert. I was like, oh, being in an advert. Because yeah. I remember as a kid, you used to talk about adverts. Of course, yeah. You know, there'd be certain adverts and they were like, you know, they were quite memorable yeah, yeah, for yeah, things. Yeah. And, you know, and you had to watch them as yeah, well. Yeah. You know what I mean? You don't have to watch them now. You no. just skip them. But some adverts yeah. were more sort of memorable than some of the TV of programs. Yeah, they yeah, were. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, it was, it, I never had like high, like I say, high ambitions at that time because I didn't, I just knew I wanted to do it. And then there was a, a Rebecca and Alison, they were called. There were two girls who lived at the separate houses across the road from me and they mm. used to go to this church, Uni, Unity Church, on Dean Church Lane in Bolton. Mm. And they, they say, oh, it's a laugh. You don't really do anything. So every, once they start the service, we all get packed up in the back room and we do, like, drawing and crafts and stuff. And then we do, like, bits of plays. And I was like, what? I said, oh, we do bits of plays. And we put a panto on at Christmas. Nice. So I was like, all right. And I said, Mum, can I go? My mum was like, well, I can't. You know, single parent. Mum's like, I'm not messing about running you anywhere. Mm. If you can get yourself there. Anyway, Alison's mum, um, Flo, said, well, I'll, you know, come with us. So that's so I started doing that and doing, yeah. like, doing the panto. And, and I think when I was 10, I played Buttons. Brilliant. And I had a little, I'm probably not a dissimilar cut to him now, and I was a little tomboy. <laughs> yeah. And I just remember, cause, probably because you're 10 and you get up there and you're being all cheeky and yeah. everyone was laughing, and I thought, oh, this is it. It's, it's infectious, this is isn't it? it? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah and yeah. I don't know, I probably was terrible, but I was I was so, you know, when you, at that age as well, you're quite confident. Yeah, yeah. You can take, I'll probably look back now and watch myself and go, wow. <laughs> <laughs> so it was that, that doing those, yeah. That's sort of how it started yeah. then at school, but we didn't do drama. I went to a school up there, West Arton High School, mm. in town called West Arton, and we didn't really do drama. And, and they used to try and do a play every year. And the year I was there, they said they were um, they were doing Pirates of Penzance. Yeah. So if people went to audition, and everybody auditioned, there was a lot of people auditioned. And then when they informed us that we had to go back after school, it wasn't like you couldn't bunk off classes. Right, right, right. There's only right, three right. of us left, yeah, <laughs> so you can't yeah, do yeah. Pirates of Penzance. <laughs> me, my mate, Paul, and Cheryl. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to see so, that though. You know, and like drama at school was, it was basically like 12 lads and three girls because, yeah. like, it was a bit, I don't mean to me, but it was like, we're the naughty boy. It was, yeah, yeah, it yeah. was just, that was what it was seen like. Right. It wasn't seen as serious. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, and the teacher used to go, Mrs. Wax, and she was brilliant. This, well, she was a Welsh woman when we used to teach, and she'd say, so you can swear and do what you want. So basically, it oh, was, wow. and we never did plays, mm. we just improvised. So she'd go, right, washing machine, dolphin, you know, car. Do a improvise some, you know. Imp we didn't know improvise it, but you had to yeah. make something up. Yeah, yeah. So and then it literally was just all the lads. I mean, so pretending to shoot up and fighting each other and yeah. swearing because you could swear. She said, "You can. Sw I'll allow you to swear." So, and the three of us used to sit there going, "Well, we can't be in it because we'd just be dodging the lads like <laughs> battering each other." <laughs> so it was a funny start. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it wasn't like it's amazing. I never did a. I didn't know what text was, and right. Then, uh, then I went on and I'd heard about Manchester um, Youth Theatre. Yeah. And they're like, you have to have a, do a monologue. I was like, what's a monologue? And I'd never, to be honest, at this point, it's hard leaving school, really. Yeah. But I'd actually, I tell a lie, we had read Taste of Honey at school. We'd done Taste of Honey because we'd watched the film, we'd read that mm. with Mrs. Moaxon. So I'd read that as a play, but I didn't really understand. Yeah. So I remember going, and, and somebody told me about this play, Bouncers. Um, John that, Godber, the that, John God, not make a film Bouncer, of that? No, yeah, and then there were shakers. Sorry, I'm telling lies. Like, shakers and bouncers, and because <clears> they <throat> were sort of set in the north and they were working class, yeah. and somebody said, you know, actually, I was, you know, I was probably younger than that because then I remember reading Road because that had the biggest influence on me was reading Jim Cartwright's Road, right, right, because obviously it was set in Bolton, yeah, and it was sort of this slightly surreal version, but not, you mm. know. As Jim's writing is, it's based in so much. It's based in reality, but it has such a magic to it. Course, it's got yeah. a sprinkling, has it? Of yeah, something. yeah, yeah, yeah. Even in the darkness, there's a odd sort of magical surrealism yeah. or realism to mm. it. Um, you know, and it talked about the Nevada, the brothel on wheels that we used to go skating on a roller skating wow. ring, which burnt down now. And Wood Street Socialist Club, but my granddad used to go to, and about the prostitute behind the piano. And my granddad said, Yeah, well, you know, during the day, there were some interesting <laughs> characters in there. So it had this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, God, there's a play about places. Yeah. And then doing the, finding the monologues from there and then doing them to death. But auditioning for Manchester, um, I say, Youth Theatre, and, and I didn't get in. I didn't get mm. in anywhere. Really? Because I just didn't know what I was. I just didn't know, but there was no one to go to help you. And then you'd meet yeah. kids and they'd go, oh, my teacher went through the monologue with me. Oh, my teacher went through. Right. 
And I was just like bumbling around, yeah, going, yeah, well, yeah, I don't yeah. quite know what. So it took a long time. Yeah. You know, in a way. And I so, thought. so no, so was there any sort of like when you, with your family, was the support there for you? Because I know a lot of people when they say oh, I want to be an actor, an actress, or whatever, you know, or even in the in the arts, it's like, yeah, but you need yeah. to get a proper job, don't yeah, you? Yeah, they didn't go. Yeah. Oh, I, I think, I think at this time, because like I say, it was just me, my mum, my sister, mm. and my mum really didn't. You know, I said I want to be an actor, and and there was no, there was no like, oh, you can't, you've got to get a proper job. Mm. I just. You know what I mean? She she was always when I look back now, she's quite good like that. She gave us a lot. Of, we had a lot of independence. Yeah. You know, I definitely had a lot. My sister was older, so she was like eighteen when my dad left. But I was like eight, and by the time I got to a teenager, I mean, I no, I wasn't running rampage because I was given a lot of freedom, and I think actually that's why I sort of behaved myself. But like you know, thirteen, fourteen, I was going to clubs. Yeah. And I said to my mum, "Oh, mum, I'm staying at my mate Lucy's," and she'd go, "Great." Yeah. Do you know? I'm got fifteen. I'm off to Glastonbury, mum. What's that? Yeah. It's this festival, but I'm going with Cheryl, and mum and dad for teacher, so that we're fine. It must be alright. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? So I just went, yeah. but in that framework of uh, letting me do things, mm. in some ways I was quite sensible as well. Yeah. You know, in in many ways, but um, so she was always a bit like okay. And then I remember one day she'd met this fellow Terry, and she was they were living over in Leyland, and I'd gone to stay because I when she moved out I went living with my grand my step granddad in Orich and she went and I was about 15 I was coming down the stairs and I heard her on, on the phone at the bottom of the stairs and she went I don't know what she's doing she says she wants to be an actress <laughs> I mean messing about she's always been you know daydreaming but what can you do yeah and I remember going all right okay mm. you know that's and then when she got off the phone I said I heard that and she went, well, what are you going to do, Maxine? It's not, you know, it's not a job. It's mm. not a job for most people. You can't. Yeah. So I remember going, right, I'm going to show you. So at that time, I remember made a lot of my mate Cheryl, they were, they were teachers. Mm. Her dad had a video camera. So I said, right. Um, so I'm, I made a video, mate. It's so embarrassing. I did all these monologues. And she videoed me. And then I just sent VHSs off to all, like, little cooperatives around right. the northwest, West, yeah, going, yeah, yeah. I want to be an actor got nothing back apart from one in Hebden Bridge called North of Watford wow. and a, a brilliant actress I don't know an actress called Susan Cookson mm. I'd seen it and she went I just thought you were just quite quirky and, and I just admired your front so they got me in for an interview and <laughs> then sort of took me on you know as a you know the cooperative and then yeah 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 that sort of started the ball rolling and what what age it. was that then what, were, what well by this time I was about 17 right just right 17 right. So then I went, and I think because I look young, so I mm. then I and not long after I got a job in uh, the ward, children's ward, playing like right, a, right, right, sort of fourteen year old with yeah, Danny yeah. Dyer. Danny <laughs> Dyer. <laughs> <laughs> we were. I always say to people at school with Danny Dyer. We yeah, were all yeah, like yeah, kids yeah, at the yeah. school, and we're doing Romeo and Juliet. Obviously, I was playing the nurse. Yeah. And uh, he was. He he got. Up to, he was. Um. Yeah. He he got up to no good with this young woman, and 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 then he. She set fire to it. Oh, anyway, there was a big fire right. in the school, and we all then ended up in 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 children's in the ward. Oh, <laughs> I love that. So, but it was that way of sometimes I think your naivety can, mm. and when you're young, you just go, "Oh, I'm just going to give it a go." Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, of course, and, I, yeah. and I and then when I think my, my it's funny now, I'd be less. But when I look at the beginning of my career, I used to go into auditions, and they go, uh, "Have you got any questions?" I go, "Yeah, I don't. I don't, actually don't want to play this part. I want to play that." Part. <laughs> I love that. I, I mean, I, I can't believe I'd, I... mean, yeah, and I but did why not? Re- I mean, it's like... And, it, you know, a couple of times it worked out. Yeah, that's what I mean. You know, shameless, I, I couldn't get an audition. Really? No. <laughs> and it was actually Christine Bottomley who said to me, I've just auditioned for this thing called Shameless. She said, there's a part in it, Veronica, you'd be brilliant for it. So I rung my agent, my agent said, no, they, they don't want to see you. And because as well, you've just done early doors and they've cast James McAvoy and they're not... Yeah. And they don't think you're right for it. I thought Christine Bottomley thinks I'm right. So. Yeah, 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 <laughs> I mean, yeah, yeah, I mean, it's amazing when you've got mates like that who yeah. won't go. And um, and then I sort of pushed them and pushed for it. And I've told them to run. And, and then I was doing this series Early Doors at the time and I was playing this character Janice and I worked in Tantastic, it was called. So I covered in fake time yeah. and I had like... I was wearing like this moth-eating coat like with a bit of a sort of 60s, pencil skirt 60s sort of vintage vibe going on. Yeah. And I got a call saying, oh, they'll audition. They'll, all right, they'll give you an audition, but you've got to go now. And I was filming, like, early doors, and we were yeah. all going out of studios. Yeah, yeah. And I said, oh, God, I don't know. I'm going to get there. And he in the driver. I said, where, mate? I said, I've got two scenes off. Don't tell anybody, but will you drive me up to Alvin oh Green to God. Bev Keogh's office yeah. for an audition? Yeah. And he went, oh, go on then. Oh. He said, I'll get in trouble, but I'll do it for you. So anyway, and I went and did the... But it was... Yeah, it's it's mad how... 
Yeah. And I don't think sometimes actors talk enough about no, no. or get the opportunity to say it hasn't been that easy. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and yeah. God, I'm not saying it's hard, and I know I've been very lucky as well. Yeah. But when you get the luck, it is that thing, as you know, you've just got to run with it, haven't yeah. you? Yeah. But I think I think I think also like be like being being bold and brave, like like you were, like actors these days, they don't. There's, they feel like there's a certain you, they can't like approach casting directors or can't approach you know directors or whatever like that. Of course you can, just people. You know what yeah. I mean? It's just and yeah. and like St- Steve Graham's got a similar story about how he sort of got on to snatch. He was he, he was going with his mate. His mates had an audition for this short film that Guy Ritchie was making, and uh, his mate was like, "What are you doing?" And I, he said, "Just come with me, and then we'll go out afterwards or something." So he's waiting in the waiting room, and he, his mate came out and. Guy Ritchie was like, Have you, are you in for the show film? He's like, no, I'm just here with my mate. He's like, are you an actor? He's like, yeah. He said, well, get in then, come on. And he, because it's Steven's dyslexic, he was like, he said, I, I, can't, I, I might need 10 minutes to read this or half an hour or something. So he read it and then he, he called him. He just, he said to him in the room, you've got the job, you start on Monday or something. So, Brilliant. you know what I mean? It's like, yeah. it's just those opportunities that you create yeah. for yourself. And I've always said to young actors, just get out and about. Yeah, yeah, just yeah. Just get out and about. That's, you know, when I first started, I was living in London and I just made sure I went to the theatre all the time. Or, mm. Like if there was a workshop going on, I go, yeah, go on, I'll, I'll do it. And people go, what yeah. are you doing that for? Yeah. You know, and I said, because because you just don't know. And one thing we don't do in, as much in this country, or maybe it's got better, but is once we've trained or once we've got a couple of jobs, I go, we don't need to learn about acting anymore. Yeah, I'm an actor so now, and true, I think so true. we're not we're not good at going keep. And, and I must admit, I'm guilty of it at the moment. Is you know, it's about keeping going. You know, yeah. athletes don't go. Oh, <clears throat> you know what I mean? Yeah, I've got exactly. a race on Friday. Well, be all right. I'll yeah, just, I'll do right. Like, <coughs> right. I'm off. You know what I mean? You, <laughs> yeah. I know it's not, but you've got to it's keep training, isn't it? You've got because you just don't know that minute. Yeah. You, you know when you. You know, and that's one good thing. I remember when I left RADA, they'd used to do ex-graduate courses. And at mm. the time, I was doing... I'd left quite a long time back then, and I was doing Silk. So I was based in, staying in London, and I'd heard, oh, they're doing Meisner classes. Mm. John Biskitzer, one of the teachers, doing Meisner classes. And I never had John at, at RADA, but I always loved him. I was I liked what he was, the, you know, because it was split into three different acting yeah. teachers. And I was like, oh, God, he, I like what he, he seems to... You know, his sort of approach to acting from what I was learning off, like fellow students so I thought oh, I'm gonna go and it was like a tenner mm. and I went in there and, and all, all the all the other students there just left and they went what are you doing here I said because of everybody here I need to be here more than you do right I said I know I'm working and it might seem weird to you but actually right. I've got so many bad habits now and right. you just get into tv acting which yeah, you just yeah, quit yeah. fast and you you've got to keep throwing it up and I remember going back and being in the green room on the next saying everyone what did you do last night I went oh I went to a a Meisner class and I remember like Rupert Henry Jones and Sean Evans going you yeah. what I went, I went to a Meisner class with Rupert Jones what did you go to a Meisner class for he was like what's Meisner and I said right and then the next thing we're all on a break oh, and yeah. everyone's I was trying yeah, to teach yeah, you yeah, on yeah. I was going oh yeah and I said yeah we should there should be more facilities for because yeah. and it does mean when you get those auditions last minute or when you get those jobs where there's no direction and you're going in as a day player and it's mm. so hard yeah, yeah, and you're yeah, going yeah, into yeah. a job where actors yeah. have been doing it for months and they yeah. can be a big grumpy yeah, yeah, yeah. you know I always yeah. say note to self if you're one of those actors that are irregular in summer always I mean to be honest when I was doing some art circle I couldn't wear I think I was a bit overwhelming for the new people I was like <laughs> hello new best friends <laughs> I'm a bit like oh god no yeah but the nearest you, enough oh god yeah. <laughs> but I think you've got to yeah you, you've, you, I don't know. You just got to keep it ready because you course. don't know when. Yeah. And what, and like I said, when you don't get, when you get on those jobs that you don't have time to rehearse, that then you're not panicking because you think, yeah, it's the toolkit, isn't it? You yeah, can go yeah, in there yeah. and go, yeah. great, I've got something. Well, I, stu- I studied Meisner as a as an actor. I did it for a couple of years, and it was like, and now I bring it into directing as well. Yeah. That's because that because you know I, I, even if actors haven't studied Meisner, I can I can sort of you know, put them in a position where they, they are doing Meisner. Yeah. You know, even if it's sort of uncomfortable for them. I mean, I don't, like, put pressure on them or whatever because I know every actor has their process and, yeah. you know, me as a director, I have to learn everyone's individual process. But, you know, I think is amazing. And I, I always champion Meisner because I think it's it's the one um, technique where you are, like, truly listening to, to yeah. the other person, you know what I mean? Yeah. And you're just in the present and I just love to remember, was it sort of one of the opening, because uh, I've got the Sanford Meisner and I've got, is it William Esper who does yeah. a lot of his, you know, and it's that thing, isn't it, you don't have to be intellectual to be an actor. And I just yeah. remember going, that's it, thank you very much. Yes, yes, yes. Because I think as well, sometimes in this business, you know, you go for auditions and they go, well, the person in before you just said, well, the juxtaposition will be caused of the... Oh, blah, 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 blah. And you go, well, 
actors, some actors can talk a good game. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. But can they do it? And there's some actors who actually are not that great at articulating themselves. Yeah. So it's new kind of but when you get them in front of a camera, you're like, wow, now yeah. that's, um, they've got, um, you know, their emotional intelligence is off the scale. Yeah. So I think sometimes we get very, yeah, in our yeah. business, don't they? We, like, in an, we, some, pe- some performers who have the gift of the gab, we get yeah. slightly seduced. Yeah. You yeah, know? yeah, 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 absolutely. Mean, and, and I've read, you know, you read, <laughs> being really mean, and, and I, I, have, I have so much respect for all actors, and I'm not, but you will read interviews sometimes with actors, and they'll go, oh, and I did this, and then, and then mm. you go, well, that's not the performance I saw. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can talk afterwards. <laughs> yeah, yeah, We're not yeah. doing an A level piece, an A exactly. level paper on your performance. Yeah. And then I think sometimes people then see, they go, oh, yeah, and they said that, oh, I can see that. Now. Yeah, yeah. It's mm. the same for me as well when you're like, when, when you're talking about the character or, you know, you go so, so deep and they're talking about backstories and all this and all that and all that, which is great. But then when it's not present on the screen, it's like, what was that? Why, what was all that about? Yeah. You yeah. know, I mean, you must have, you must have um, experienced that. You know, you said you went to RADA. <clears throat> what was that like getting, getting into, what was the path into RADA? And, and you know, it's, Obviously, the most famous um, acting uh, uh, place in in the world, really, I, I, I'd imagine. So, you know, I didn't just walk in there. You, I know you have to audition for it. Yeah. But what was your what was your your sort of path into that? Well, I've been auditioning for Manchester Met, Manchester yeah. Theatre School. I think I was on my second year of auditioning. I didn't get in anyway. When I went the second time, I was they used to put you on this big big space, and you had to audition. It's crazy. To audition in front of everybody. Oh God, yeah. You know, and then at the end they go, and can these people stay behind, oh, please? No. You know, it was just cruel. Anyway, yeah. um, I was on my second year auditioning, um, and I remember sat there, and, and this this young woman came on. She put her hair up in a top like ponytail, mm. and did this speech. And I think it, I can't remember, but I did a lot of people had done it before, and it was I think she was like a hairdresser or something. She was talking about a. a, a breakdown of a relationship and it was a comedy piece anyway I thought my god she's brilliant I thought she's the most sort of like natural funny person I've ever seen she's not overlaying it because I'd seen people do it before anyway <laughs> I went up to her after I said hi I'm my name's Max and I, th- I think you're I think brilliant can I just say she went oh hi I'm Diane Diane Morgan um, okay. and she said uh, she said oh thanks she said you, you know I thought you were alright and I was like really? anyway we got chatting um, and I said oh where do you live should I live in Kers I said oh I'm only in Bolton so we said right you know, we we were talking about all the stuff we love and mm. turned out we love look like really into comedy and blah blah blah. So we ex- exchanged numbers and um, you know, landlines then. Yeah, yeah. And um we said we keep in touch and then we did and we were like and then we were we, we were sort of met up and we said, Oh, well, you know, so what did you and she didn't get in. I couldn't believe I couldn't I mean really? I couldn't believe I didn't get in. I was like, You didn't get in you know. Anyway, um and I said to her, Right, and we were chatting, we said, Should we audition for let's let's I said, What are you gonna do next? Went, oh, I don't know. I said, Should we audition to, for Rada for a laugh? Yeah. And she said, shall we? And I said, they come to Manchester, they come to the Royal Exchange, so we don't have to go to London. It's not going to cost us, you know, it's not going to cost us, we can afford it. Yeah. You know, I think it was like 275 return then from Bolton yeah. to, to Manchester. <laughs> this is how long ago it was. It was still a steam train, you know, yeah, it was yeah, the yeah, same yeah, 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 days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so we said, oh, we'll do it. So we both applied and we both went. And I think we ended up going on the same day. Yeah. So we went, and so if it wasn't for having that conversation with Diane, anyway, I got in, Diane didn't, but Diane went to East 15. So she went right. off, so that year she went off to East 15. And I think because Diane was much more like, oh, I want to do, you know, because she always knew she was doing really character comedy stuff because mm. we decided to start writing together. But I have to say, Diane was always the far more talented one and funnier one. Anyway, so off she went to East 15. And I, because I remember I worked at Leisure Centre, Horwich Leisure Centre at the right. time as a lifeguard with Paddy McGuinness. I'm going to name drop Oh, you. my God, really? <laughs> Before Paddy was Paddy. <laughs> Just, I don't know whether... Sorry, Paddy, for listening to this. I don't know. But <laughs> anyway, um, and uh, I remember being in the staff room and I got this phone call saying, I, oh, no, that's cellulite. I was out the staff room and I over then turned out, I, I, you know, the light speaker, it mm. says, come, uh, Maxine, uh, please come to the staff room. So I went to the staff room and they said, there's a block on the phone for you. Some posh blog. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, hello. I said, hello, mate. So it's Nicholas Barty here from Rada. Just to say, we would like to offer you a, a con- a, no, it was a conditional place. And mm. I was like, ah, who's, who's messing who's around? Messing you know about. what I mean? Yeah, <laughs> you know, yeah, like yeah. you're doing is going, no, I've seen it. <laughs> anyway, so that, because I'd, I'd got, I'd done that audition and you had to go down to London to do, um, 
another like a workshop type audition so mm. I went down and did that but again I think because I didn't think I'd get in yeah. I was just a bit blase yeah yeah you know yeah I mean? you're yeah, not yeah. blase I wasn't I wasn't arrogant I was just a bit like I'm not going to get in but I'm just going to enjoy myself yeah 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 this yeah, is yeah. you know yeah. nice and I met some I remember meeting Marshall Lancaster do you remember Marshall who was in I remember, still remember because they had to do a song and he did uh Temple of the Dog. Who <laughs> did right. the Temple of the Dog song? <laughs> and David, Ol- David Oluwelli and all these amazing, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, he was there at the audition. I remember saying to him, oh, God, if we get any, he said, oh, I'm going to Lambda. And I said, are you? And he said, well, I'm, I'm, I'm off to, I want to go to Lambda. Oh, so he'd yeah. already made a, and, and I remember he did a song from um, Sesame Street. So the three of us were like this little, little wow. like odd gang. I don't know, because yeah. I don't, we just all three of us, the three of us sort of on that day, you know, it's amazing how quickly you make sort of, yeah. don't you, when you're in yeah, situations yeah, yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. So there was Marshall and David and me, and we, and David was like, oh no. And I was like, what, you, you're getting to Rada, you don't want to go to Rada. And he, he sort of had done it because he'd done all his homework mm. and he was like, no, Lambda's are really, and it's it wants what I want. And right. me and Marshall were just like, you know, I thought we won't get in. And then I, I can't remember, Marshall went off. I don't know, he went to Gildall. So, yeah, it was just, I, I didn't think anything. But I just remember having a cup of tea in the break and Pat Meyer, she called the bursa, sort of sided, sided up at the side of me. And she went, if you don't get in, are you sure, if you get in, how are you going to pay for it? And I went, uh, well, I'm, I'm, I'm not. I hadn't thought of that. Yeah, you know, I said, I just didn't. He said, okay. She said, well, what's your financial situation? I said, well, me, me, I live with my mum um, and she works part-time in a shop. I said, and uh, my dad never given any maintenance, so the moment I think I remember that. <laughs> um, you know, that, that was a complicated, but yeah, I said, so, yeah. yeah. And uh, she said, oh, okay, okay. And I thought, oh, well, no, never mind. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. That's that. Mm. And then, so then when I did, Get, but it was because it was a conditional place. Then they were like, but you'll have to find the money. And I said, well, I've told you, I can't find the money. And they said, well, what we're going to do, there's a scholarship scheme that will put you up for every drama school nominates a student who otherwise couldn't afford to go. And it, if you get it, it will cover your fees and your maintenance. Wow. So it'll be everything. Um, so it was Associated Newspaper. So basically Daily Mail right. <laughs> paid for me. <laughs> <laughs> so, paid for me to... Uh, to go to college and I, and I went I remember I auditioned I think there was about 18 of us mm. and then it, I, I got a call saying You've, you're down to the last four and I was like really? I thought God, this is you know because I remember thinking oh don't make me audition again because they're going to ring them up and go you've made a big mistake yeah. <laughs> you've made this one letting her in so and then I had to go and I remember they said you have to go to the National Theatre in London and audition in front of the artistic director Richard Eyre well I did I, luckily, at the time, again, naivety gets yeah, you a long yeah, way. Yeah. I had no idea Richard Eyre was. I'd only been to London. I don't... No, I hadn't been to London before then. Oh, no, I had because I'd auditioned for Gildall. Right. Not Gil, yeah, Gildall Drama School, so I'd been down. Yeah. Um, you know, and, and that, it was at Knoll Street, YMCA. I was just going yeah, to stay yeah, 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 there yeah, every yeah. time we had an audition. So I'd been down to London once before then. Um, so I had to go and I had to have audition in front of, of, of Richard Eyre. And I remember the it was two boys and another... Uh, young woman and they were so nervous because it was Richard Eyre and Cause because I didn't know you know and I'm sure that's the only reason I got it because I didn't know where he was and I went in and he said to me and if you don't get the money Maxine how will you f- will fund and I just went oh, I don't know Richard rob a bank <laughs> <laughs> and I think just that attitude yeah, in yeah, a way yeah, 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 at yeah, that yeah. time at that age just being because I was like this little chubby thing with a bass and her cup. right you know, from Bolton, just a bit like, oh, I don't, you know. And I'm they probably, it was like, because everyone that probably comes in that door is like the nervous, like, you know, bowing down and you just didn't. And I think they probably respect that. Well, I think some ways when you're just a bit, I don't know, it is that thing, but you know, with auditions, don't you? When you, you want it so much, sometimes you don't because they can, I don't know. And, and there's yeah. times when you, and then, and they know when you don't want it, either yeah. or you're being too black, you know what mm. I mean? Too blase or too, but when there's just an element of, yeah, I was just a bit calm, and I again because I just thought I'm not going to get this, but this is all a great experience. Yes, yeah. isn't this lovely? I'm sat in the National Theatre. Yeah. Oh, look at look at the Thames. <laughs> I remember sat there though, looking, you know, like thinking I was in a check off, going, "Have you not watching this?" Going, you know, and I've got to, I've got to come to London. I've got to come to London. I really want to come. You know, I remember thinking, mm. "Yes, this is my destiny. London's my destiny." Yeah, and yeah, all yeah. that. But yeah, so that's. Um, and how long were you there for then? Once you once you got in, and so I did three years. Three so years. it was a three-year course. Yeah. Um, yeah, and it was. I, I I can't say I enjoyed all of it. Yeah. It was hard. The tough with you. Mm. I think unnecessarily at times. Yeah. They get very personal at drama. Do you? Where would you, you? I didn't go to drama school. No, no, I didn't. But I've I've got mates who went to Rada. I've got mates who went to you know lots of different drama schools. 
And a, a, a lot of them say, not all of them say this, but a lot of them will say they go in there with bags and bags of confidence and yeah. then come out with none. Yeah. Because you're literally chewed up and spat out into the real world. Yeah. And it's like, yeah. Oh. I think I, I I hope things have changed now. Yeah. I do hope, you know, there's a, a new way of looking at it because it was very trauma based. Yeah. And, and, I, and I do think, and what's amazing now, a lot of the students going into drama school are not having it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. I'm not no, yeah. I'm not doing that. No, yeah. I don't want to. Well, we were like, we're just here. We're so grateful to be here. Thank yeah. you very much. What this do you want us way to it do? Is. This is it, you know? Yeah. And and it was, and they just, the character assassination mm. at times. And I think, you know, again, a bit nervous. I just sort of trundled through it a bit going, oh, sure. You know, half the time in my head, just yeah, going, yeah. oh, whatever. Yeah, yeah, you know, and yeah, they go yeah. to me, you'll never get a job with your with that accent. And I remember going, yeah, but I will, won't I? Because there's loads of Northern telly out there. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, in my yeah, head, yeah, it wasn't yeah. an arrogance, but it was right. just like, well, if I lose this accent and then sound like everybody else, I'm putting myself in a, in a bigger competitive pool. Mm. And, you know, then there's nothing different about me. And I'm not that good that I'm going to outshine these guys with the same, sounding the same. Yeah, so yeah. It, it was, I sort of, I think with acting, isn't it? I think sometimes when anything, it's a little bit of, you have to know to market yourself as well. Yeah, yeah, There's yeah, a business yeah, yeah. acumen that I think, Absolutely. you know, that's why there's, I think there's a lot of ama amazing actors that I've come across over the years and trained with who've slightly gone by the wayside and mm. it's not anything to do with talent. It's just sometimes I think, it's understanding the business and understanding you can't... I've still got friends now who are like my age who go, mm. I didn't get it. I was, must have been terrible. And I'm yeah. like, if you still think you didn't get a job because you weren't good enough, you're insane. Exactly. And you can't carry on like that. Exactly. And I can't have this conversation with you because it's making me very anxious. Yeah. Nobody gets the job. I don't... I'm not saying... I'm sure... And, and you'll tell me, but, you know, somebody could come in and go, and go, oh, my God, that was a brilliant performance, but not quite right for what I'm looking for. Yeah. I'm or sure. the or oh. the opposite of that completely like that that's like most directors I, I have I try and keep an open mind you know what I mean I have an idea of a character in my head so when so, yeah. when people are coming in but I always like to get like you know a completely diverse mix of, of people in the room because I like f not for all characters but for you know characters that it that it lends itself to and then you know they come in and if someone comes in and I've got something in my head and they can do something completely different to what I'm yeah. expecting a lot of the time I'm like oh yeah ah, I like that yeah. Do you know what I mean? So it's, so it's it's again it's it's subjective as well, and it's yeah. and you just you as as a director, until it, it for me it's, it's I've got, everything has got to feel real and believable yeah. in everything that I do, and it and it's about it's about being as natural as possible. Yeah. But you know, the, everyone that we get in the room is in the room for a reason. Well, that's what I say. You know? I say you've not been given an audition because they don't want you to get the job. Exactly. If you're being called for an audition, somebody wants you to get that job. Yeah. And I, I still, I'm, I, and I know it's hard. It's all right for me to say, but I know with so many friends, and I just said, but you can't. You've, you know, I had a friend yesterday who did, he done a theatre audition, and then he rung me up and beat him. He said, oh, I've done, and I did this and I did that, and I went, it doesn't matter. Mm. It's not if you don't get it. It's not because of that. Yeah. It's just, you probably just, you know, you come into the, you know, don't people say, most people, and a lot of people get cast, you walk through the door, but a lot of people are cast in the first, like, two minutes, aren't they? You know what I mean? Yeah. You know, whatever. Yeah. So it's about you and your energy. Usually yeah. people respond to, I know I do. Yeah. I mean, a lot of times, I think, if I had my way, I wouldn't audition. I, I, like, I think, because I'm quite, it's one thing I'm a bit <laughs> arrogant about, I go, I know when people can act. They don't need to audition. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, but yeah, you yeah, do, yeah, I think yeah, you get yeah. an instinct, yeah. don't you, Absolutely, with people? Yeah. Yeah. And you go, yeah, they can do that. Yeah. And I, I don't think really I've been, and you know, that's why I love working with Sarah Frankham because she just mm. very rarely auditions people. And if I've written something that worked with her and I go, I saw, I just saw it and I think she's really good. Or mm. I think, all right, have you, we will, you know, well, we'll offer the part then. Yeah. You know what I mean? But yeah. that's service confidence as yeah. a director as well, yeah, yeah, knowing yeah. that, but I, you know, and that's. I think I, you do see, you see, like if you watch someone doing something, <clears throat> you know if they've, if they've got it. Yeah. You know what I mean? You know if they've got it. And so I, I'm I'm the same. It's like, for me, a, an audition isn't to... Like, if you're coming into the room, it's not because I want to see how well you can act, especially, like, if I've... Because I do my research on everybody. Yeah. It's about whether I get on with you. Of course. Because ultimately, you, you're in a relationship for however exactly. long it is. Exactly. Exactly. get on. 
And like sometimes, you know, an agent's got, you're not going in to read. And I go, well, I've got to get in the room and see them because yeah. we could get in the room and go, whoa, yeah, yeah, don't yeah. like each other. Yeah, That's yeah, not going to yeah. work. Exactly, yeah. This is, I don't trust, you know, if you don't trust, it's about an element of trust. Yeah. It's about an element of respect if you're on the same page. Exactly, yeah. You know, it's funny now, I, you know, this whole, you know, you're supposed to get to a level and know that's not, but you've got to get in the room. Yeah. You know, and I know it's hard, you know, I've done it recently. But I've went, no, I'll get in the, I'll go in the room. No, I'll go and meet the director. I'll absolutely go and meet the director. Really? Yeah. And then I didn't get the job and I was like, oh, <laughs> I shouldn't have done that. Why did I go in the room? Yeah, now yeah. I've been in the room. Now I'm going, oh, I didn't get, he said I wasn't right. How does he know I wasn't right? And then I do that and go, of course he knows you weren't right because it's what he had in, I didn't read, mm. but what he had in his head for the part was not you. So, yeah. And still, but you still ego. Yeah, but, but sensitive as well. Actors are very sensitive. But then, actually, in a way, I went, "Oh, I'm glad. It, I, I'm glad to actually, you know, I'm mean, I still, you know, I'm not immune from rejection at all. But mm. when you do get rejection, actually, it's got yeah, I'm still really passionate about this. Actor. Yeah. it still gets me like, oh, I'm like but, raging. Yeah, yeah. And it's not because I think I was the best. I don't know. It's a funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's hard to explain, yeah. isn't it? Really. And you go and people go, oh, all right, ego. Yeah, yeah, know, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. but I want it. I want yeah. it. And then, when, especially when anybody says no in anything in life, you go like, you know, yeah. I've got, I'm not that bad. I'll go in. I go, I wanted that now. I've got yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, that's it. If you if you're lucky enough to be getting. <clears throat> you know, one, two, three auditions a week, a month even, and you're getting no's. It's like in, in in everyday life, if you're just working in a normal job, whatever it may be, you're not getting that many no. rejections. No. So it's, no. you know, it's it's you've got to be not only good at what you do, but also you've got to be, you know, be able to take that. Well, you've got to have a thick skin. I yeah. always say actors, it's it, you've got like a vent system yeah. where you've got like your thick skin for auditions and then your thin skin for when you're acting. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, you've that's got brilliant, to that. Sort of... I'm nicking that. <laughs> <laughs> but you do, you got to... Uh, yeah, yeah. And and I still have... I think I'm always a bit of a sounding board for actor friends who ring up about mm. parts because I'm always like, we didn't want it anyway. What was it? Yeah, who did yeah. they give it to? Even yeah. if it's somebody I really like, I'm like, oh, you're better than them. Don't yeah, worry about yeah, it. But yeah. I become that person that everybody rings up and yeah. that's longer a friend said, and I went in and they were auditioned this many times and then, you know, and I, and I don't like the way actors get treated as some... A lot of the times, yep. you know, I knew a friend of mine had been offered a part and was um in an and whether he was going to take it. And another friend of mine who is brilliant and and they're both brilliant, mm. but was going in and in and in and out of the room right. for this part. And I was like, Same I had part. to go, oh God, but they've offered it and he's decided oh. whether he wants it. And you, but because he's got a bigger profile than you've yeah. got, yeah, that's, it, you know, and I sometimes, I, you know, and then knowing then this actor being devastated and. Mm. And then going, look, you know, trying to talk, you're trying to be loyal. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you wanna, yeah, yeah. You want to say to people, you know, you want to give people a bit of comfort because it's tough. Yeah. And I don't think that's the side of it that a lot of people see is the constant rejection and mm. and just comments. People say, oh, I don't think she's right for this part. And you go, what do you know? know You've yeah. never even met me. Yeah, You've exactly. made an assumption, Yeah. you know, that I wouldn't be able to, oh, she's not that enough or she's not this enough. Or, but yeah, yeah. that is something that I think has always kept me going. Mm. And I think that's why I like to play slightly diff you know, try and do different parts and different things because yeah. I've always been told I'd only do one thing. Yeah. So yeah. I'm driven by still at 48. Yeah. I'll show you yeah. what I can do, you know, <laughs> or, you know, have a go at. Yeah. But that's brilliant. That's a brilliant mentality to have, though, because, because you, you, you know, you just keep, you're, you're keeping that passion alive for yourself as well and driving forward, you know what I mean? But it's harder as you get older, I think. Because yeah. sometimes you go, oh, I just want an easy job. Because sometimes yeah, you see yeah, people yeah. and they go, God, they used to do big films. Why are they, why are they irregular now in that long? And you go, I know why they're irregular in that long running series. Mm. Because they've just gone, I can't keep at this rate. You've yeah. got to have that that drive. And, and it is ambition. And it's mm. got to have that drive to keep. It's exhausting because it's like a chess game, yeah. isn't it? You've got to come. And, and I think the rules constantly change. Mm. Absolutely, yeah. Because it used to be, you know, I remember going up for films and it was like well no you've done too much telly oh, you can't yeah. you're a telly face you can't yeah. do all right and then you do film you know and then eventually you break you try and break through mm. and now and then you look at some actors go well, they don't they've done loads of telly and they're doing film and that doesn't seem to and it's oh it's changed now. Yeah, so you're constantly yeah, yeah. trying yeah. to navigate what do i have to do yeah to to get and it's not about i don't want to move up anywhere i just want to do the work i want to do yeah and i, I don't yeah, you know yeah, what absolutely. i mean and it's it's and and then it's always a battle and then you'll you know and you're always 
and not, you're not pitched against people, but you'll get off with something, oh, no, I'm not going to do that. And then the person who does it, going, oh, no, but they, they've done that, and they've got that, and I wanted yeah. that. <laughs> yeah, oh, if yeah. I'd have done that, but it wouldn't have had the, I've said to actually, but it wouldn't have had the same outcome. If you'd have done it, it would have been a different thing, so never say, yeah. oh, well, if I'd have done that, I'd have been there. Well, no, it doesn't, you can't predict doesn't that. mean that. And, no, absolutely. And it's when you turn stuff down, it's <clears> going, turn it down and walk away and don't think about it again. Yeah. And sometimes that's hard when... You go, oh, that was a massive hit. Oh, oh, and yeah, you've got yeah. BAFTA. All oh, right. <laughs> but I think, well, I wouldn't have, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. just, it, it's different. I don't think it gets easier. It just gets. Yeah. It's hard, different. it's hard not to, not to watch what everyone else is doing as well. You yeah. know what I mean? If you, it, it's, it's, if, if everyone could, you know, just focus in on their path. Then it would yeah. be easy, but you, like yeah. what you just said there, you know, you're like, oh, oh, I audition for that, and oh, they, oh, now they're doing that. Or sometimes yeah. you go, I audition for that. Oh, they're they're rubbish in it, aren't they? You know what I mean? Although I must admit, and it's not just me being, I'm not. <laughs> being, there's so many times when I've gone, oh God, that's how it was supposed to be done. <laughs> 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 Shit, yeah, I yeah. audition for things, and I watch it, and I go, oh, yeah. that's not how I did. Oh, that, no, that, yeah, that's so much better. Yeah, that's it. All oh, right, yeah. that makes sense yeah. now. Oh, no, I couldn't have seen myself. Oh, no, no. It's a much better <laughs> show for them being in it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, uh, how long was it after uh, that when you came out and stuff like that? Did you have a, did you have a time when you were like, you know, struggling? Did, did, did you have an agent? Because I know they do showcases and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Well, I, I, they do showcases and you know people I mean Joanna Page was in my year love, mm. brilliant lovely Joanna Page and I remember we were selling programmes in the second year for the third year show right. and Joanna got three agents approached us they selling programmes selling programmes wow. yeah saying you know would you come and be on our books wow. so it was my, you know and then they know I mean again agents you know so the, and they were big agents they know the stuff mm. don't they and, they know, mm. and so you know I remember yeah going oh that's how it sort of works and then the, the third year you know I was. I had a friend, Helen, and she said, "I've only got one line in this play." And she, I think she had two lines in this play. Mm. And a character was called Toilet, and we were laughing our heads <laughs> off and going, "Oh, Helen, don't be so downhearted." And I think then she came on. She had these three lines, and then about six agents were fighting over her. Wow! It was, you know what I mean. And other yeah. people were basically knocking the pipe out, doing massive yeah, yeah, leads yeah, yeah. and getting nothing. But um, I saw all basically all the way through doing all because once you get to the third year it's just show after show it's like being in a mini rep company yeah so you just put in play after play and i got absolutely no interest whatsoever mm. i mean i was always playing old people really? i mean i was yeah just yeah always the old woman in really in everything yeah yeah because there was a like a select a gang of us who just yeah we weren't the ingenue so it was yeah we just played old people or men or funny <laughs> you know the character parts which actually i think in a way was a good was a good foundation for me about creating characters because yeah. I was playing people so far away from me. Yeah, yeah. In a way that I was like, okay, you know, and I think, I think actually at the time you think, oh god, thanks. Why have I got you know another eighty-five-year-old woman? Mm, but mm. It, it, it did, you know, it sort of did help, and it doesn't feel at the time because you you sort of know by the pecking order, you know, you'd go and you'd, there's always certain people who would be the leads in. Yeah, yeah. You go to the, it'd be like the casting would go up. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I just always stand at the back and then go like this. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, there I am. Yeah, there yeah, I am yeah, at yeah. the bottom. Yeah. That's fine, you know. But yeah. Um, so, I, yeah, and then it was when we did The Tree, it's called. So it's like a showcase, Her, Herbert Burbaum Tree, who founded mm. RADA. They named the showcase evening after him. Right. And, and I remember the principal saying to us, um, don't need to write to anybody. Anybody who's anybody's coming to see this showcase... So you're absolutely fine. And um, I'd done a monologue. And in fact, I did Shakers by, again, I brought that one out because I thought, mm. well, it's a northern young woman, a bit awkward. I'll do that. Mm. And then I did a duologue from April DeAngelis' uh, um, plays Creatures with this actress, Sally Hawkins. I mean, what happened to wow. her? Sally, so me and Sally did this Amazing. duologue together. And I said to Sally, because I'd been... I'd, been in a cooperative till I was 21 mm. and you spend all day in a cooperative you know you have to pick up you have to ring get you, you got a file and it's like right ring the casting director yeah yeah so you, I said because I was so nervous and you then you'd have to put nothing or they'll call us back and you'd and you'd ring them they go hello blah, 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 casting and I go hi uh it's it, it's Maxine Peak here from north of Rockford actors me the phone <laughs> go down oh, you God. know and you'd have to put in uh you know didn't answer we'll call back but <laughs> I used to spend a lot of the time and we just writing letters to people yeah. literally I'd just yeah. write and go hi my name's my name yeah. you know I'm, I'm at North of Watford Actors Agency so I said to Sally I said right we're going to write to people and she said 
what? But Nick said we don't have to. I said, oh, sod Nick. Yeah. We can't just sit here and do nothing. You know, I was like, we've got to do something. Yeah, so yeah. I said, right, let's get some. So we got our, like, headshots and I wrote a letter and we put our little CVs in there and I just went, right, who should we write off? And we're like, who's the best casting director? And we're going, oh, look, right, Nina Gold. Right, we write to Nina yeah, Gold. Yeah, so we wrote yeah. to Nina Gold. Right, got to, everyone says write to Mightley. So we wrote to Mightley. So we wrote, sent off all these like letters to people mm. and then Nina Gold turned up on on the showcase and Nina said uh, oh thanks for writing to us ladies if you hadn't have written we wouldn't have you know I, wow. for some reason I'd missed my invitation and then like three days later we were both in Sally was in for a specific job yeah and I just went in for like a general mm. and then the next thing Sally went in for Mike Lee and then yeah. the rest is sort of Wow. History. I'm not saying, you know, I still want my percentage offer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Agents, <speak. laughs> oh, yeah. But, you know, we did. I mean, I'm sure Sally, they would, Nina would have found Sally through other well, I mean, channels, it, it, but it was just about being yeah, proactive. Exactly, yeah. And, you know, you, th I say that to actors. You don't sit back and wait for it because, no. you know, it's not going to just come to you on a plate. You've got to get out there, get yourself out there. Well, people, you say to me, what are you writing for? And I go, it's not a bit embarrassing. I say, it's desperate. It's not desperate. No. I said, and what? They might just go like that. Or yeah. they might just go, oh, I'm looking for some. Oh, who's that? Oh, interesting. Uh, yeah, yeah, get yeah, them yeah, in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I think you can't, like you say, you can't sit and wait for no. it. And I've got still friends now that, you know, I still just drop, I got, I get their email. I said, flattery gets you everywhere. Drop them a line and say, I love your work. Yeah. I saw the yeah, show yeah, you yeah. did. Yeah. Just drop them a little line and say, you know, if there's ever anything. I mean, they'd be absolute assholes if they just went, don't ever write to me. Yeah, yeah, or yeah, yeah. Even yeah. if they just delete it, that's all. But if they're not going to take against you just because you've no. done, more chance than not, you go, I'd be like, oh, Okay, interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. Yeah, yeah. But um, so we did that. So off S Sally went, and then I got a call just from one agent, Burnett Granger, saying, you know, we'd be interested, would you come in? And there was only an agent that I had an interest in, so I went to meet him, and they were really lovely. And I remember him saying to me, oh, you could be like the next Geraldine James. And I remember going, what, like a proper... You think I could be like a proper actress? Wow. You know, because I was always yeah. the dumpy northerner. And yeah. they were like, oh, no, you remind us somehow of Geraldine James. Wow. And that was it. Then I was like, right, right, I'm with you. And then yeah, I always yeah, remember... Yeah. Uh, uh, Lindsay Granger, she was caught, she was amazing. She's no longer with us. And I was sat in her office, and there was a picture of Scaramouche on the wall with yeah. um, Stuart Granger. And I went to her again, "Hey, Lindsay, are you a fan of Stuart Granger?" And she went, "He's my dad." <laughs> 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 you know those oh, wow. moments that you got. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoops. But I just think that. Yeah. So again, being that sort of little. Slightly naive northern. Being in yourself. A way, just going, yeah. you know. And when you're young, I think people just, you know, I think it irritated some people. And mm. I know some people, you know, had an opinion of me about what my educational sort of capacity mm. was, intellectual capacity was because of it. Yeah. And actually then the surprise got, oh, God, you're into that. Oh, you've read that. Oh, you know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah of course. Yeah, yeah, just because yeah, yeah. I sound like that. Yeah, this. exactly. Yeah. Yeah. You know, because I won't change it no. to make, to fit into what you think. Yeah. Somebody who's educated should sound like. And yeah. then, you know, and I'm not, in a way, I'm not, I didn't go to university. I went to RADA, that's a theatre training. But, mm. you know, I was brought up with a, a step grandfather who always encouraged me to read. He yeah. said, that's your passage out. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. It's to keep, yeah. you know what I mean? I grew up in a house with, you know, my mum my had a few books, but my dad's, my dad still to this day is 80, mm. has never read a book in his life. Really? <laughs> no. Yeah, yeah. He said, yeah. I get bored. I said, yeah. Oh, there you go, Dad. <laughs> <Fair enough. laughs> Oh, amazing! What's been one of your um, what's been one of your biggest highlights so far? Well, it's funny, isn't it? I, at different times, I I remember. I think obviously working with Victoria Wood, which was yeah. one of my first. I mean, I'm still at drama school when I got when I got that job. Yeah, yeah. But at the t I think as well, I keep using this word naive, and I think naive. I don't think it's a bad word, and I, I mm. you know, and people go oh, a bit naive. Good, good. Yeah, What's yeah, wrong yeah. with naive? Yeah. What's wrong with naive? What's wrong with nice? It good. Mm. It's a. It shouldn't be seen as a, a bad trait, but I would. And I think it never really sunk in. Probably I was protecting myself. That's why I didn't really sink in. Mm. But for that to be your first job, to work with your absolute idol, yeah, you know, was very overwhelming. Yeah, and I couldn't really articulate how, how overwhelming it was at the time, you know, and mm. and and weird. But then thinking, well, this is it. This will be it now. This is the. I'll just do this, and then I'll have to go back home, and and you know, I don't know where the, where, where can it go. If I've played this part, I don't know where it goes next. Mm. I didn't know what was in store. Um, but then there's things like I did a, a one-woman show on the on the stage at the Barbican and was like, I'm at the bar. You know, those yeah, moments yeah, where you go, yeah. 
I'm stood on the stage, main stage at Barbican on my own. Yeah. And then every every night when I felt I was having a heart attack and mm. I was going to vomit in the wings everywhere because I was so nervous. Yeah. And I go, just tell your 21 year old self that yeah. you're now on the stage at the Barbican on your own. Yeah. Doing an hour and 45 minutes in front of a full theatre. Yeah. And you go, wow. Yeah. Not and it's not about yeah, look what I achieved. It's just those moments that you think you forget sometimes because we just move forward, don't yeah. we? Yeah. I'll move I'll have a sideways or whatever, but you 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 move and you don't you know, and I don't like something these going, Oh, I've done really well, pat myself, you know, what mm. you're so proud of. I don't like that word being proud of. Mm. But the fact that sometimes I have to stop and go, just have a minute. And every mm. now and again when I'm feeling down or somebody's criticised me or whatever, I go, well, look at your career. You did start off as Twinkle. You've done all right, actually. Yeah, yeah, who yeah, else yeah. started off as a character? And again, I'm not going on blowing my trumpet, but who else started off as twi- as a character like Twinkle and then has played all those different characters? Yeah, exactly. I don't think there's any, uh, many other actors no. in, in the, who I have. And, I, and sometimes I go, it's nobody, does want to have a look at my back catalogue? I've really <laughs> tried here. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, and especially yeah. when I get people on you know, Twitter going, it makes me think she's the same in everything she does. And I want to go, well, I beg to differ. Yes. You know what yeah, I mean? yeah, 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 absolutely. But I've, I've done that. But, you know, you don't get, I don't know. But for me, it is about the work. Yeah, yeah. I just want to do good work. Yeah. That's all I want to do. Yeah. You know, and you, and you start going, well, you know, and it's navigating how do you, you know, and sometimes you go, well, maybe if I did that telly, then I'll get, then, because I remember when I first started, it was like, if you've got a good telly, then you get theatre. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. Theatre would be more susceptible to having you in stuff. So a, a lot of the time, and sometimes you get it wrong and you misstep, but mm. it's about just constantly going, how do I keep jumping on those Good work, lily pads. You yeah, know what yeah. I mean? Across the pond. You and know, stuff that excites you, know? you as well, I imagine. Yeah, because if it doesn't, yeah. I, I just can't. There's jobs coming and I, and I, you know, I had something the other day and I went, this is really, this is this is a great, it was a TV thing. I thought, God, mm. this is great. It's really interesting. Mm. And and it's lovely. And I know I'd watch it, but the part I was sent, I just went, I, I'd get bored. I know I would. And, yeah. and somebody do a really good job of this, mm. but it's just not me. And it's not that I didn't think, anyway, it's beautifully written. Mm. But every now and again, you just got, oh, or sometimes you got, oh, I can't see a way through that. Or could I do something different with it? Or yeah. I don't know. Do you I get like know. an instant? Yeah, about four pages in. That's it, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And that's terrible. And people go, you don't give it, oh, no, no. No. Yeah. Like four or five pages and I go. Well, you don't need to because no. it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a natural reaction, isn't yeah. it? You know what I mean? And I bet it's the same if you go, this is amazing. Um, like yeah. four, five pages oh, in, yeah, you're you like, can, oh you, my God, I'm, I'm in. I always remember with so reading the description, it mm. said Martha sits on a bench, pulls a wig out of a plastic bag, having a fag, and I went, oh, hello. Right. Yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. This, is, got me. this is for me. And that was the first paragraph. Yeah, and I was like, yeah. yeah, she's for me, thanks very yeah, much. Yeah, and then, yeah, you know, yeah. I mean, I auditioned, for, you know, I went in audition, but I was like, I want this part. Yeah. You know what I mean? I thought, there's a barrister sat on pulling a, a wig out of a plastic bag and having a fag. Yeah. Yeah. This is this is going to be good. Yeah, 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 yeah. You yeah. know, and yeah, I mean, and I'd worked with Peter Moffat before, so I knew about his writing. But you know, sometimes, and then there's other times where you go, oh, and but a lot of the times when your agent describes it to you, you go, this that you've just this you've just been sent this thing, and it's about this, this, and this, and I go, oh, right, okay, but well, can you? And you go, I'm sending it over, and I'm I'm sat there going, yeah, you yeah. know, and I'm like, why is he sending it? Send it, yeah, now. Yeah, I want to yeah, read yeah. it, you know. Yeah. And then other times I go, oh, he'll describe it, and I go. Oh, can you read it first? Because <laughs> I don't seem to, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I don't, and sometimes you get it really wrong. Yeah. I've got it wrong a few, you know what I mean? And I've gone, oh, I never saw it like that. Oh, mm. wow. Yeah. Wow, that's, oh, brilliant. But that's not how I saw it. And, but that's the nature of it. But it's great how that you just lead with your instinct, though. That's, but that's all you've got. That's all you've got, you've, that's all you've exactly, got as an actor. Exactly. That is all you've got as an actor is in, yeah. is, instincts and like I said that's one thing I remember a teacher at Ryder saying to me you've got great instincts Maxine I'm not much else <laughs> <laughs> and he said but if you can harness it and I thought that is it yeah. it's been able to it, you just trust you have to trust yourself sometimes but what I find hard is and I don't know it's because I'm getting older maybe you lose confidence mm. I think it's being a woman and being older and you I mean not that I've ever been particularly visible but you do start to I don't know, something happens. I don't know, it's hormone or what. But you do, I have started a little bit. I can feel I lose my confidence where I think, that's not right. If I'm doing a scene really? or something, I go, that's not... And I'm finding it harder to... And, and maybe that, that's something I've come out of. I've, I've had, I just did a job not so long ago that I've had to have a good talk to myself about and go, really? you need to start... If you're not thinking you're getting what you need, you've got to start piping up a bit. Mm. You know what I mean? Oh, and, that's what I was going to say. Yeah. yeah. So, so, so you mean you feel... You come out of a scene 
and you're like you you, you walk away from it and you're thinking about it oh yeah, 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 that yeah, you, yeah you could have done something different yeah well you do that thing isn't it? an actor's thing is you you worry mm. about the scene you're about to do the night before yeah then you spend the night after worrying about the scene you've just, just done. just done yeah and yeah. you go, why didn't I do Oh, like that, oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Go, oh, and fellas like, what are you doing? I go, oh, I should have done it like that. I should have oh, done that, yeah. Oh, I didn't, I forgot, I completely forgot about that. Yeah. It's because sometimes you're moving so quickly and then you go, oh my God, I was there in, t- it was then, so it was three months later. Oh, and, yeah. I, and I think an audience <laughs> are probably not going to see that nuance that no. you didn't play the line, that knowing a little bit of information that yeah. you'd forgot that you knew when you played the line, but it matters so much, doesn't yeah. it, to you that that wasn't... yeah there and that you I just think then the more you've got your foundation then you can play it is that thing that's a bit, it's a bit, it's a bit it's like you say pile it all in there that's what I do I mean and I do I write a, I do write a bio for my character but what I do I write it then it, I leave it yeah you know I write yeah. it just because I enjoy going right? yeah yeah where were they born what were the family set up mm. and then sometimes you have to talk you have to talk yourself as and go you're not writing a novel yeah they might have just <laughs> had a normal family life <laughs> nobody has to have a dead parent or you know what I mean yeah. everyone has to I mean all right when you get to my ears the fact that both parents are still yeah. alive is probably but you know what I mean yeah, there's always yeah. and I go just cut out the tragedy you know give yeah, people yeah, a bit yeah. of a yeah but because sometimes I think I did that mainly for a lot of the time when some telly jobs, because they move so quickly and scripts are not ready, it helps you just fill in the gaps. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And I've had to, and, and Peter Moffat, when I did Silky, was brilliant because a few times he wrote script and I went, that don't, that don't work with my backstory, Peter. And he'd go, yeah. what do you mean you're a backstory? And go, <laughs> well, because you didn't give me a backstory. Yeah. I've given myself one. Yeah. And that's not right. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, and yeah. I remember having this big tussle about one time about, you know, he was saying that my family were from this uh, financial, uh, you know, sort of social economic background. Mm-hmm. I went, no, no, no. I see her as a parent's being quite old and her dad was an engineer and he was quite eccentric and they were a little bit, they were upper working, not lower. No, no, no. And I was having this sort of, you know, debate with him about it. And in the end, he was brilliant because he always, you know, he used to sort of concede, you know. Because yeah, yeah. if you put your, your point, you know, if you put your pitch across, mm. But because it just felt sometimes you'd go in and you'd be doing so quickly and I'd go, well, I, I need to know how she'd feel about that. And yeah. I know when you were, you know, and if you're in a character, but sometimes you don't get the time to really explore. Yeah. You know, and that's what's frustrating, I think, as an actor, when you go, I didn't get half. I only did a third of that character. Mm. There's two thirds of that person I never got to go anywhere near yeah. in this script. Yeah. I yeah. never got to get into them corners and yeah, yeah. have a rummage around or just, it's about flexing. Yeah. If I don't feel I've done a part where I've been able to flex my muscles, yeah, it's physical yeah. acting. Yeah, of course it Even is. Even though yeah. you spend yeah. a lot of time, don't you, still, mm. you know, keep still, hands by your sides. Yeah, 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 yeah. drives me mad. I'm like, if you want to fling your arms out, as long as it's full of truth to those fingertips, exactly. it doesn't matter. Exactly. You know what I mean? And I, but I, yeah, I just it's when I come back and go, oh, I don't feel out of work out then. Mm. I'll get so annoyed with myself, and I, you know what I mean. And, yeah, yeah. And do you feel? Do you feel? Do you feel? Are you ever like, oh yeah, that was, that was the one. Yeah, and then you watch your back and go, oh, okay, oh it wasn't. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, but sometimes you go, oh god, I, 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 there have been moments where you go. Yeah, God, I got, yeah, something just happened then. But it's when mm. it's between you and the other actor. Yeah. That's when you go, oh, yeah, God, yeah, something yeah, yeah, happened yeah. then. Something really happened then. Some, yeah. I always remember we were talking about Steve again and doing, um, we did an episode of The Street and there was a mm. scene where me and um, Ruth Jones' character had to throw him out the back of this um, community centre. And I always find, as, what I found out as a, a, a female actor, is that a lot of the time you have to be scared of men that you think, I'd knock you out in one punch. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. You know, and you go, oh, and she's frightened. I think, could oh, she not hit him? Maybe yeah, she'd yeah, hit him yeah, back. Yeah, yeah. Or maybe she'd go for it. Or maybe she'd give him as good as... You spend a lot of time acting. Mm. And I remember doing this thing where I had to throw Stephen out of this, this like, fire doors. And I always remember him going out and he said something to Ruth John, something about your guardian meeting. And then he turned to me and... I can't remember what he said, but honestly, I literally saw my ass. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, and I thought, yeah. you know, when you go, oh, God, that was so real. Because yeah, yeah, I yeah, literally yeah. went, oh my God, going to kill me. Yeah. <laughs> and I never feel like I have to go, oh, pretend you're acting that you're really scared of this actor, yeah, <laughs> you know, yeah, a lot of yeah. the time. Yeah. Because, and, you know, because Stephen is, he's so in the moment. So in the moment. Yeah. You know, and I remember going, oh, oh my God. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, yeah, and, yeah. and that's, that's when it's exciting and you think, and selfishly, sometimes if it doesn't translate on screen, fair enough. Mm. I've started to realise that as long as I'm fulfilled while I'm doing it, yeah. if it's not a big hit or if it doesn't, then there's nothing you can do about yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, you just yeah. got to give give your best. But I want that experience as well. Yeah, I don't want to be an actor who just turns up and goes, oh, well, you know, you watch some shows and you go, how much are you getting out of this? I don't mean like financially, but mm. I think fulfilment-wise, you're yeah. not really doing very much in that. 
I mean, I know you're getting lots of plaudits, and and but that wouldn't work for me. Yeah, I'd just yeah, get yeah. Bored. Yeah, but horses for course. The different actors get, you know, yeah. different things from it in different ways. But yeah. for me, it's about. And when you sometimes you stand across from an actor and you go, oh please, and you can't. That's when I can't act. If yeah, because you're you, only as good as the person you stood up as. Well, it? you can't connect. That's the thing, isn't no. it? And yeah. then you just got. I'm getting. It's so your energy just goes like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And exactly. If it doesn't come back, exactly. it is like a tennis match. Yeah. Or a boxing match. Absolutely. You know, you've got to. And if it doesn't, if it doesn't come back the other way, mm. or if you look in somebody's eyes and they're not listening, my I just go to. I go. Oh. Do you ever do you ever see actors um, when you acting opposite them and you can see them mouthing your words as well? <laughs> do you ever get that? <laughs> Oh God, I know. I've had that before. It's like, <laughs> stop it. <laughs> to, so, like getting ready for you to to say I their line. But no way, don't you? And then actors that I did work with a younger actor once, I had to pull him up, and I, do, I mean, we had a bit, we had a bit of a fall. I've never fallen out with an actor before, and I mm. love him dearly. But I said, "Will you look at me? Yeah. Will you look at me?" And he was like, "What do you mean?" And I said, "Stop acting for the camera. Yeah, look yeah, at me. Yeah, look yeah. at me." And he was doing all this funny head turning, oh. and I went because in reality, I would have what? I'd have kicked you out of the room now because yeah. I'm your boss and you're not listening to me. Right, right, right. You know right, what I mean? Right, 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 so right. I said, "If you want to play real, yeah, and you're not, you're acting for the camera, mm. and what angle will look good." And you see acting, you go, "Oh, stop it!" Yeah, yeah, I yeah. mean, and I know it works, and they're usually going to be the superstars. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you know, and there's different ways. And you know, you look at certain actors like you know, um, like Paul Newman and people like that. And mm. they, and uh, it's, no, it's probably Steve McQueen knew how to really work. You know, I know it's it, again. There's that you've got to have a skill of knowing where the c- camera is. Yeah. And, but then you do work with actors who you just got. Oh, I see. Mm. If I stepped out of here now, you'd carry on. Yeah. You, yeah, yeah, you're yeah, acting yeah, for yeah, the yeah, camera. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And. And I don't know, and, it, and it, I don't think an audience, I don't know. I mean, I think as an actor watching it, I can tell. I've got, oh, they're doing, yeah. their, they're doing their thing, aren't they? Yeah. It's not. They're dialing it in. But I don't know, some, I think you get actors who are real team players mm-hmm. and then actors who are, who are individual. And that's, yeah. you know, and then as an actor that I hope, you know, I feel I'm a team player and I hope that other mm. people have, you've just got to find ways of navigating that. Yeah. And going, okay, well, if you're not going to give me what you want but my habit is is then to go with what I'm being given yeah and then it can it can sometimes get a bit messy because I go well, if you're doing that then I'm going to try and do whatever I can to get you to look at me yeah yeah to yeah, pay attention yeah. to me and if you know and then sometimes you know yeah yeah I don't know have you ever worked with an actor who's you know you do your you do their shot and you're doing the lines off, off camera and then you come around to theirs and they're not there I've never, you know, I've, I've been, heard of it. I've yeah. never seen it. I've heard of it that and like one of the runners is doing doing the lines or something. Yeah, I've never. I've been the only time I've, I've and that was not his fault. No, I tell a lie. It was the other way around. And I, I remember doing a, this thing with uh, Jimmy Nesbitt called Cindy, Cinderella, and it was one of these mm. modern fairy tales. And we were doing it on a boat, and um, and he was was I on? I was on the boat, mm. and he was sort of. Com- his character was confessing his undying love for my character, and then the tide went out, so the the boat sank. So oh. it was, and so when it came to his shot, they had the um, one of the runners just had a you know one of those like Charles fishing nets. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he had to act to that. With your face on it. Well, not even my face on oh, it. Just a f- and honest to God, they, I was like that. Wow, Jimmy Nesbitt, I'll give you your due, mate. <laughs> I would have been like in pieces going, I'm not, I'm not acting to that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need, yeah. I need something, you're going to have to get him up there somehow, get a crane. <laughs> and he just did it brilliantly with this to this, you know. And, and I get, and sometimes I have been in moments where I've gone, oh, I'd rather the actor wasn't there while I'm doing this. Yeah. Every now and again. I, cause sometimes you get, and you, you know, and especially when an actor's done their bit and then it, it comes around to your turn and then they've, you know, fair enough. They've given it their all and they mm. don't want to give it again. No, exactly, yeah. And sometimes I think, well, I'd rather that's whole... that Because, again, it's about how they absorb your energy and I'd yeah. rather, and sometimes I go, you're all right, you go, I'll just... Right, yeah, I'll yeah, I'll just yeah, do yeah, it because yeah. I can't... Yeah. I can't look at that. Yeah, you'd I rather look at nothing. I don't mean to mean, you've done yours and brilliantly, but now you've you've exhausted yourself, haven't you, and I'm yeah, not going to yeah, get yeah, anything yeah, here. Yeah. So I'd rather... Because you can't help but go with what... Yeah, been given. listening. You know, yeah, so if somebody's yeah. done a massive scene where they've been screaming at you and, mm. and then 
when it comes to you, then they're like, oh, because I'm tired, I'm just going to say it. I mean, yeah. thank, you know, great that they've just, because, you know, some actors won't still be there. Was it the tele, is it Telly Savalas? Who was the story they used to, he stuck chewing gum on a, some lines and stuck it, it might not be Telly Savalas. Oh I don't want God. to uh, libel any, uh, <laughs> <laughs> any actor. There was some famous story about some Hollywood actor, yeah, he took chewing gum out, stuck it on the other actor's floor and then flunked wow. his lines on. Wow. I mean, it wouldn't surprise me about some acting. Yeah, you know, yeah, you yeah, know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. they don't do... But I think, what, what are you getting out of it then? Obviously, just a lot of money. Well, it's for the cameras. Yeah. You know, what you said before. Not doing... Oh, then I've done it. I, I remember working... Yeah. I don't know. Then I've worked with, with actors that have gone, when the cameras... I was like, oh, my God, you're amazing. And then the camera turns on and you go, I didn't let you go, what's happened? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But it's hard. It's yeah. a hard... Yeah. And I always think my best performance has been when the camera's not looking at me. Yeah, I always go. Oh, I was great then. Yeah. No, it's on me. I'm like, oh, what? Me just stop, but stop. Oh, you've gone all funny now. What are yeah, you doing? yeah. Sometimes I don't like to call action. I just, I just be like in your own time, because <clears throat> it's that, it's that weird, isn't it? It's like it's the whole yeah. process, especially in film or TV. It's like, okay, cameras are rolling, turn up, and it's all like, like the nerves start to go, go, yeah, go, and then it's like to... action. You're like, and action. action. It's like action. yeah, 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 yeah. It's yeah, like, yeah. what is that word that needs to sort of yeah. maybe you know be replaced or like you say just I think Clint Eastwood just says and go does yeah you know it's brilliant well that's it just give it a give it yeah and give it like sort of the respect because I think a lot of time that's it's all it's all faff 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 and I think mm. again people don't really think actors overall sort of you know molly coddled and and but a lot of the time you do feel you're the you're an afterthought a lot of time yeah. on sets yeah. You know what I mean? The crew get a lot of time. Yeah. The sparks get a lot of time to set up. The yeah. cameras get a lot of time. We don't get that same time. Right. You know what I mean? Right. And not right. a lot, not always, you know. And I, you know, and, and sometimes, you know, if the light's not right, we'll go again. But if mm. you go, oh, I didn't think, I, we haven't got time. Yeah. You know what I mean? You go, well, we've got it. A minute. We've got it. Yeah. Who's, I mean, of course, beautiful lighting and everything, it's got to mm. be. But at the end of the day, nobody's going to find that lighting designer. <laughs> Like, no, you know, exactly, they gaffer yeah. it and go, or they, you know, DOP and go, oh, mate, but you're the actor in the front line. So sometimes yeah. I think, just, yeah, you do, yeah, sometimes you do feel, as they say, like a warm prop. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. And I hate when they go, get the turns in. I'm like, don't ever. Oh, no, no. You no, know what no. I mean? And things like that with that. And you think, yeah. you know, the div you know, I live with a crew member. Mm. So I'm always very sort of, but I think, you know, there's sometimes there's an assumption, and don't get me wrong. I mean, at most crews I've worked with are, are just amazing and lovely, but there is sometimes an assumption that actors are going to be difficult. difficult. Yeah, and I think sometimes when actors are difficult, it's because I know I think it's after years of going well, I've not got what I've wanted by asking nicely, so I'm yeah. just going to be a bit of a dick now and see if I get mm. it that way. And mm. I can see it. And sometimes I've said to people, you know, you create, you can create, you create these personalities sometimes. Yeah, because you either somebody will come in and scream blue murder and they get exactly what they want so yeah. it's like monkey see monkey do isn't mm -hmm. it and then you go all oh, right oh well yeah. they've got what i wanted so then yeah. squeaky wheel gets the L syndrome yeah exactly exactly i yeah. mean don't get me wrong, I'm, I'm not because i'm I, you know i love our business and mm. you know but every now and this is small 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 bits of, but yeah i think sometimes and actually do i don't you don't have the power like i think people not the power but i mean the just a little bit of clout that I think people think you do have. And that's why I see now a lot of actors are doing like exec, you know, I want to be exec producers and I've, yeah. but I'm like, I'm not really, I don't want to get involved in any of that. I just mm. want to, all I want is to be able to do my job well yeah. and be able to feel confident to ask for a little bit more time yeah, and, you know, take your space. And sometimes mm. I think as a, as a woman, it's sometimes a bit, a bit harder because mm. you're surrounded by, men generally yeah. In, yeah. In, on film sets yeah yeah so yeah. it can feel that intimidate you know what i mean mm. it can feel a bit intimidating mm. you know so not i don't think deliberately intimidating but yeah you know just from the the sort of percentage of yeah men and women on a set yeah absolutely no i i agree totally it's um it i mean it is changing i i i, yeah. I like to you know for, for me and my set it's, it's I, i'm i think i've worked on a lot of sets where a lot of the crew were just very unhappy. They didn't really want to come to work every day. Yeah. And what we do is, it, like I, I think, and I'm sure you do, it's the best job in the world. Yeah. And we're not saving lives. We're going to create art and to be 
creative and if yeah. if it's if you you know you as the lead actor or or you know me as the director or whatever it is it's got to start there because it does it does trickle down and you know oh, what I mean? well you pick up on an atmosphere don't yeah. you yeah you do pick up on, a, on a, an atmosphere but then you know i was talking to a friend this morning about an actor i worked with and i, and I was saying he, he was brilliant and i said and he's an older actor and i said and what i really loved about him not old always and only a bit older than me but i said what i mm. loved about him was he still loves his job and he's successful he's really successful and he came in every day and he just loved it. And at first I was like, God, he's a bit bossy, isn't he? But actually it's because he, he really cared about it. And I, once I found me sort of feet with him, I was like, no, mate, I'm not doing that. Yeah, like, yeah, you do yeah, this, yeah. you do that, and I'll do that. Let's rewrite it. And I'd be like, whoa, whoa, whoa. But because he was a man, yeah. you know, everyone yeah. was like, yeah, yeah, we must rewrite it. And I was like, hang on a minute. I've yeah. had this script for months and I've worked on all these scenes. Not that I work and go, this is, I'm going to do it, but I've dissected them for the meat. And, yeah. and now you've just gone, boom, pulled yeah, it, which yeah, is... Yeah. Which is great, but I I thought I you you've just got to be you know curve anyway. But he was brilliant, and I thought and I, I said the main thing was he's a brilliant actor. But the mm. fact the reason he's a brilliant actor because he loves it. And I yeah. thought I should have not seen that much passion from somebody who works a lot, yeah, yeah. And successful, and is you know sort of in the fifties and yeah, and, and yeah. just loves what they do. Because mm. sometimes you, and I with actors I'm gonna go, oh, what are you doing it for? Yeah. Exactly. And if I have to listen, you know, well, that's not my fault. Your kids go to such expensive private schools yeah. <laughs> and your massive garden needs a new decking yeah, area. Yeah. You know, it's like, and I've done jobs and I've gone, God, it's day three and I feel like we're on day 603, yeah. the way you're all mourning. Yeah. Get on with it. Yeah. There's actors starving out there who are desperate, you know what I mean, would chew your right arm off to have this job. Yeah. So get, stop. Stop You've moaning. got to keep reminding yourselves that how lucky and I don't mean grateful and going to the people you work with and thank you very much I'm so grateful you're giving me this job because that's a you know you've got to hold mm. your own within that but I just think you know there's a point of if you don't want to be there don't be there yeah yeah. you know what I mean don't turn up and just be oh, 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 you know moaning 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 because yeah. it does infect everybody Absolutely. and I know crews are what really because like I, I live with a crew member and mm. I get like <sighs> I don't, you know, it's been a real eye opener for me. The hours they work yeah. and what's required of them, and when they're not working, they're still working, you know. And I'm like, sorry, it's eleven o'clock at night. Yeah. Is that ringing? <laughs> what do you need tomorrow? Well, it's not tomorrow yet, and you're not working now. <laughs> Give me the phone, you know. <laughs> sort of, you know, and the things and what? Sorry, Saturday morning you're going work. Oh, you need some signs. You need to go to graphics. Are you being paid for this Saturday morning <laughs> going to the the graphics? Yes, I'll come with you. But yeah, you know. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, you know, there is. But then, you know, that's a you know, my fellow again, he loves his job, so mm. he will go above and beyond. And, and you shouldn't really have to, but there yeah. is, I think, you know, I, we do work in the TV game on film, and I do th think we work quite silly hours sometimes. Yeah, I agree. And they put a lot of pressure on people. I agree. And it's not, it's not an industry. I think you can, you can, you know, especially crew members, how long, you know. The retirement age, or stepping away from mm. it. I speak to a lot of crew members now who are sort of, sort of late forty, going, I don't know if I can do it anymore. Yeah, I don't know if I can keep up these hours. When it's you're going from job to job, staying away from home yep. for yep. long yep. periods of time, you know what I mean. The hours that's required, you know, and you film, you know, you, early mornings, drive, you know, long drives, and so I, the, the, I don't know. I sort of go, why does it have to be so? hard mm. in that respect those mm. hours i know there's not a lot of money and they're not a lot so then the time yeah. is limited but i think this yeah it's not um it's 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 quite it's a hard drive isn't it it's it's yeah. it's you know you know it's not like is it new tricks when they used to finish about two o'clock in the afternoon really yeah my god they're, they're on the pub by half, about half past yeah. two yeah yeah well, that's because they were all like, right, one take, that's all we need. We've yeah. been doing this long enough, we'll go off. <laughs> we don't really do. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> None of that nonsense. Do you want to go again? No, do I bugger it? No. Right, come on, let's go. <laughs> oh, I love it. <laughs> well, um, what advice would you give to a, you know, someone wanting to get into this industry as an actor? Well, there's that thing, don't, isn't don't, there? Yeah. Don't, yeah. No, yeah, yeah. no, and doing it is... It's it is a hard industry. It is a hard industry, but it's a brilliant industry. Mm. But my advice was, you have got it's that thing. You've got to work hard. Yeah. Nobody who's got anywhere has done it just by accident. No. Not just luck. Right time, right place gets you so far. Mm. 
when I talk about all the actors I've worked, come cross paths with and are in like Hollywood, mm. they wanted that so badly. You yeah. know what I mean? There's certain people that was like, please get over there because if you don't, I don't know what you're going to do. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> you know yeah, what I yeah. mean? It's, you know, you've got to have a, a drive. It depends mm. what, you know, where you are. And there's, you know, different levels and, and, and nothing what's success and what isn't success. My first agent, Lindsay Granger, said to me, Maxine, if you can work in as just being an actor and not have to have another job and compare the bills, you're a star yeah. in my books. Yeah. And that was always a really brilliant thing for me to hear and go, yeah, yeah you're right. If you can make a living mm. out of solely just acting, you're doing you're doing well. Yeah. And I think it's harder now as well because, you know, I don't think like TV day plays, episodes of things and stuff, you know, it hasn't gone up with sort of, <laughs> nothing's gone up with inflation, has it? No, and, no. But, um, you know, everyone, we're all struggling, you know, but I mean, don't mean well, I don't mean as in me, but you know what I mean? Mm. But I think as... Um, you know, sometimes, you know, you used to be able to do three or four like guests in a in a, in a series and a couple, you know, and a, and a couple of players, and you mm. could manage to get that yeah. ain't happening now. No, no. I've no. got a mates who, who do largely theatre and they're really, really struggling mm. to keep that, you know, to maintain. Yeah. Uh, you know, they'll, you know, just pay the rent and pay the bills and whatever now. But, I think it is, it's about work hard. It's about, you've got to keep yourself open all the time. And yep. It's about keep learning. And I say to actors, get out, see things, mm. watch things, go to the cinema, go to the theatre. If there's, keep doing it, sign up for things, but also do your own work, create your own work. Yes. Create your own work, write. Absolutely. Get your phone out, make stuff, yep. keep doing it. Because I tell you now, once you start and you get on that path, a lot of the time it is can be quite barren the creativity sometimes yeah, yeah. and you, that's a shock you go oh it doesn't feel as I was walking the dog this morning and thinking about it and going yeah it's not sometimes you just go that just wasn't didn't feel creative at all that job it's yeah. not you know when you're at drama school and you're going oh oh god you know all the boys go in the big sideburns because they're going to be in the check off and yeah. all the girls you know and we're all finding a little victory and, and, and oh god who's going to be in the next Shakespeare and oh and all this passion of oh I love theatre and I, oh I love Brecht and oh to be to do this and then mm. you know the next thing you just stood in a muddy field yeah. with a warm <laughs> coat and a hot water bottle you know what I mean being yeah. Ch rained on yeah, going yeah, so yeah. could you just do that again Maxine and yeah. you're like we're just pushing oh, lunch yeah. <laughs> <laughs> chicken and beef yeah. uh, you know, sort of uh, going yeah it's not yeah so it's but it's keeping you know and it, it, and, and it's having a support network yeah it's that thing it's like you were saying before it's your own path Mm. They say, oh, acting so competitive. Well, it isn't, it isn't. Mm. The only person you're competing with is yourself. Yeah, absolutely. To be the best actor that you can be. Yeah. And I think push everyone else out of the way because mm. people will cross your paths and people go, oh, they got my job. Nobody got your job. Mm. It was their job or it was your job. It's never, you know what I mean? If you've got it, it's yours. If they've got it, it's theirs. Yeah, absolutely. It's absolutely. never somebody else has got my career. And mm. when I hear that, I want to strangle people yeah, and go, know, nobody's got your career. You've got your career. They've got their career. Yeah paths you know as we know in life mm. you could take the same path as somebody else but come to a different exactly. you know what I mean you could walk down the same road but yeah. there'll be a different conclusion yeah. at the end so it's just yeah and it's just about keep working on stuff keep keep doing it when mm. you're not doing it and that's the hardest thing yeah but I think it for me as a young actor it was about I don't know keep creative go mm. to gallery I know it sounds you know but just get out and see things and yeah. get inspired. Yeah. Just inspire things. Be, Watch people. I mean, yeah. not, exactly. not like creepily. Yeah. But, you know. <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah your just... binoculars out your bedroom. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But exactly. Go in. Yeah. Go. Just. And, and and is that when you see people and you go, oh, God, they're fascinating. Exactly. And then yeah. You try yeah. and steal. You steal yeah, little yeah. bits because they come in handy. Yeah. Yeah. I when I read a character, I always go, "Who do they remind me of? Mm. Who do they remind yeah, me yeah, of? Yeah, yeah, remind yeah. me of some? Or who? They, oh, they're like such a body. Oh yeah, they're a bit like such. And not that I'll just use bits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I go, oh that. Yeah, do you remember when? Oh, my auntie Carol. Yeah, there's a bit of that in there, and there's a yeah. bit of somebody else in there, and just you know. But if you don't. You know, you've got to like people to be an actor. Of course. You've got to love people. Yeah. You've got to be. That's the whole thing for me. It's about why I do it because I, I do, even though I despair with humanity, mm. I do love, you know, generally people are good. Yeah. Some pretty awful people out there. Of but course, then again, yeah. as an actor, the whole thing, isn't it, that, well, they're awful because of this, that, and that. We always get, you know what I mean? Yeah, we are yeah, sort yeah. of, 
I suppose, amateur psychologists in that yeah, way, aren't yeah, we? Yeah, yeah. Because your job is to map out why somebody does what they do. Yeah, yeah. And then sometimes you play characters you go, OK, maybe the whole thing is they have no idea what, you know, but most of the time it's, it, you're a detective. Yeah, you're getting inside yeah. someone's psyche, yeah. And working out what got them to where they got to and why mm. did they believe that? And even if it's something they go, well, I don't believe that, but it's finding that path to, you know, understanding. And it's not always about empathy mm. but it's about an under, you've got to understand yeah but if you don't get out there how can you how can you un, you know what i mean you, you i don't know but then some actors are i think god i can i always think you've got to be a good human being to be a good actor you've Definitely. got to have soul um and you know i've heard the contrary <laughs> there's some people yeah, are yeah, yeah. Are assholes yeah. and brilliant actors <laughs> but i think they're few and far between i agree yeah oh actors that i want to watch yeah you know yeah you can tell it's an energy yeah because it's about it's about an understanding, but it's mm. about just w- work and and just putting yourself in situation. I know it's hard, and it's all right for me to say. And everything's bloody expensive now. Everything's mm. always been expensive, but it's all bloody expensive nowadays. And you know the arts are getting slashed, and you know mm. we're losing Oldham Oldham Coliseum's going now, and all these you know local theatres that gave people inspiration. You know you could mm. go decent ticket prices, youth groups, community groups, reaching out to different parts of the community yeah you know within a town bringing them in and it's about exposure in it so people could then see oh wow this is another community i'm not you know i'm not aware of or yeah. i don't understand and now i do and that's what we're storytellers mm. you know without going oh be you know sort of beating my breast and going aren't, aren't actors brilliant and in, but it is all i always say storytelling is eating heating a roof over your head but also as actors we um, as humans, we need stories. Yeah. That's part of our existence, Absolutely. is telling stories. Mm. We all need a witness. Mm. We all need someone to listen to us. Yeah. But also, we need to be able to relate, don't we? So that's why people love TV dramas, because yeah. they want to watch something that they can relate to. Exactly. Or maybe that they can't relate to, but it's fast. You know what I mean? Mm. Those stories keep people... It's funny, because like, talking about relate, relating to things... It's like I always say that it's about like Peter Kay and his jokes, like when he first like was you know some of his early stuff. It's like it's funny because it's so relatable. Yeah. But it may, used to make me cry as well, Peter Kay, because it was yeah. so like all those things, like Big Light, his mum hoovering before, yeah, yeah. before going on holiday. What's so all the burglars come coming yeah, and it's, it's all nice like... and clean. And but there's something so beautiful about and that. Pure. Yeah, yeah, and it is because yeah. it's just pure observation. Exactly. And then you go, yeah, and it's and that's what acting should be about is yeah. pure observation. Exactly. We are observers. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? We observe people and life and directors too. Mm. You know what I mean? That is our. You know, it's about mirroring life back at people. Yeah. You know, yeah. and going here, we can, you know, but we are in some ways, you know, when, I mean, some of the times that what I like working at, and especially when I do a lot of like theatre stuff is, mm. you know, and I, I'm, I'm doing a show for Manchester Festival this year and it's, we say, frankly, a lot of the time is you just got right, um, I was joking before about being a warm prop and that's really something, but mm. you go, sometimes you are a vessel and you go, mm. sometimes I just want to tell me what you want me to do. Yeah. Tell me what you want me to do. Yeah. And I'll, with my, it's like being an artist, with my body and my voice, mm. I'll try and recreate that for yeah, you. Yeah, 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 yeah. And sometimes not going and going, oh, I've got all the ideas in the world. Yeah. And sometimes you can go in and got an idea, but I like coming, meeting and going, but I've got this, what have you got? Yeah. Because you can only get better by somebody else adding. Yeah. I found that when I've written, <clears throat> when you write something, and most of the time I'd rather not be in it mm. because you get an actor. And then it's like you were saying, when they come in a room and give you something completely different. Yeah. You write something, then that come and does it, and you go, "Oh, you put another layer on it." Yeah, you exactly. Put absolutely, another big, brilliant. Not that there are any of the layers before are brilliant, but they've put the brilliant layer on it, mm. and you go, "That's it." Yeah. Where I was struggling because I've written it, and I, yeah. I thought, "Oh, I, I need <clears throat> something," but I can't quite. Yeah. You know, so yeah. That's what. That's why I was love about like, like you know, we're doing the boiling point at the minute, and it's. I've said to all the actors, you know, the 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 script is is a blueprint for this show you know and i want i want so i workshop we don't workshop like we we rehearse just before we go for a take so we'll rehearse the scene and it's like you know those actors are so now in tune with the characters more so than us when we were writing it more so than me as a director but like you know they just i just let them go and and it's they bring so many little nuggets to it that you just weren't expecting and it just brings it alive and it becomes real it's joyous it's real and it's like those little gifts and you've got all the 
Although sometimes when you go, when you've written something in the night to go, I don't think I'd say that. And I'm like, I bloody well wrote this, you would. And yeah. I go, okay, yeah, right, yeah, yeah. all right then. What would you, what do you think they would say? Yeah. You know, and I have to go, no, exactly. You've been there, Maxine. But it, it, yeah. writing gave me a real respect for actors. Mm. I think because I was an actor, I'd just be like, oh, you're not packing parachutes. Get on with it. Yeah, in yeah, that yeah, way yeah, that yeah. really I feel very passionate, as you can tell, because I can't stop talking about it. <laughs> but, um, you know, I'd be very blase and go, oh, I'd just turn up me and do it. Yeah. No, nothing affects me. It's only yeah. acting. It's just messing about. Get, you know, yeah, get yeah. paid for pissing about. It's all right. You yeah. know, but really inside, you know, because yeah. you just... You know, I'm at my whole fear is being accused of being pretentious. That's my whole right, fear. Right, in life. right, right, right. I don't know what. Yeah. Mean. What a stupid. I mean, I'm frightened of more things than that. You know. But, yeah. <laughs> but uh, and um, but yeah, it's that. I don't know. Like you say, those those little nuggets that they. I don't know. I've gone off piece now because I'm just. No, 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 no. Much. It's amazing. It's amazing. But yeah. Uh, well, so I mean, you just basically. Um, Chewed your head off. No, 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 it's headache. amazing. <laughs> Love it. I'm, I'm, I could be here for hours, me, I'm telling you. Um, what's next? What's next? What are you up to? So, what's next for me? So, um, I've just finished a film out in mm. Latvia um, called, well, at the moment it's called Mother Russia. I don't mm -hmm. know what it's, I think that's its sort of working title at the moment, but Anna Polakovskaya, who was a Russian journalist who got murdered in 2007. She was shot in a lift in her apartment in Moscow and she was a, a journalist and she was a huge critic of Putin and she mm. was reported mainly from Chechnya. Mm -hmm. Um, and so obviously she got under the note. She was very much, you know, sort of grassroots on the ground reporting about the sort of civilians and what was happening in everyday life and the horrendous sort of experiences they were going through. So she, for that fact, she got up the noses of both the Chechnyan sort mm. of leadership and, and Putin and she was poisoned and survived. And then oh, a right. few years later, she was she was shot and executed. Oh, right, 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 so right, I play right. her. Wow. So I'm the, so that's been that's the sort of last thing um, I've just finished, mm. and then I'm going off. It's not till June, but then I'm doing a piece for my, a little piece just at the John Rylance Library for Manchester International Festival, mm -hmm. uh, based on a novel called There, brilliant sort of dystopian novel that was written in the seventies. That's sort of a bit of it's sort of it's had a reprint, so hopefully it'll be sort of discovered by a writer called K. Dick, mm. and it's basically about when art becomes illegal. So artists have a quarter of how much of how much sort of output they can do, and there's wow. there's a sort of they're not even a, they're sort of policed by the citizens. Mm. So um, so this is it's very it's quite a thin novel. So we're mm. doing a, a sort of we're, and we're going to do that thing. And we're doing with Sir Frank and, and Imogen Knight, um, mm. serves as director, and Imogen's a director and um, um, movement director, and we're just going to. We've got two weeks rehearsal, so we're just going to go into a room for two weeks and just, I don't know, what with a novel and just oh, I love do that. it. Just find something yeah, and then put it on. And we've gone, no, we're just going to do two weeks. Yeah, We're seat of the pants, but we've just got two week, two intense weeks and then we've got like four nights. I think like I think some days it's two shows, but and then mm. we'll just put it it's on at John, John Ryland's. And I love that. We've set up a little theatre company together now. Cause Amazing. I just love that sort of devised... <clears throat> Theatre, just yeah. finding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, so we, that's that's sort of the next that's the next thing, and then I'm I'm a, trying to do some writing at the moment. Mm. So yeah, and I don't know. Um, yeah, that's sort of that's been it. That's that's it, and then yeah, but I'm I'm excited about this this theatre coming because I think for me theatre always just feeds in. It definitely feeds into my screen work. Yeah, and I feel quite bereft if I haven't done any right. sort of stage work for a bit. Yeah. You know what I mean? And and I know and I, I do think they're very the two very different disciplines in, yeah. in, in in many ways. But I do for me it feeds into I don't know, I always feel more confident when I go back to screen work after I've done some theatre work. Right. Yeah, you know, yeah, they're different, yeah. but it's that yeah. whole having that whole process of creating a character of four or five weeks of rehearsal. It's of, like going to the gym. Yeah. Yeah, and yeah. then you do feel exactly. Yeah, you know, you, you sort of feel more match fit, don't yeah, you? When yeah. you're ready yeah. to then take on, you know, take on a um, a screen role. But mm. yeah, so that's that's me for now. And when's that June? Do you say that'll be the end of June, first week of July? So it's for Manchester. I can never say it, Man Manchester International Festival. Yeah. So it'll be the first week of. We're on the first week of July. I will so definitely we'll come to that. Yeah, no, I'll do. I would love, love to come to that. Yeah. And what about you? So you've got so busy. Yeah. Um, 
Yeah, well, I've been doing Boiling Point, the TV series at the minute. Brilliant. Um, Brilliant. And then... Um, Were you surprised by the huge sort oh. of success of Boiling Point? I mean... Like, beyond surprised. Wow. We it made a brilliant. short film in 2018 and we're like, you know, and I've, I've said this before on here, like, if I, you know, I, I made that short to, to get myself an agent, uh, to try and get an agent um, as a director. And, you know, Steve's a mate of mine and he, he said he, he loved the idea and so we made it and then... then it was successful, the short. And we were like, oh, what if we turned it into a feature? And then I asked Steve, would he be up for doing it? We we're going to do it in the same way, one take. He was like, oh, my God, absolutely. And then, yeah, it's mad. But, it's, but, it's but mad. that is the thing it's about doing, is about, isn't it? You've got to do it. You can't yeah. sit back and <clears throat> no. wait for it to come no. to you because it doesn't. No. A friend of mine years ago, and, and she was really struggling as an actor at the time, and she just said to me, you know what, I've just realised this business owes me nothing. Yeah. And I spent so much time thinking it owes me so much, yeah, and I'm yeah, so yeah. angry with it. She said, and the moment I realised it owes me nothing. Yeah. Because there is no, what what is this business? Where is this sort of, mm. you know? Yeah. It doesn't, and you think that's exactly that's it. Yeah. You will just owe it to yourself. Exactly, yeah. To make sure if that's what you want, you give yourself every opportunity you can. And I'm not saying that it always works out, and unfortunately it doesn't. No. You know, and it's really sad, but you've got to... If you don't try, you'll never know. No, exactly. You know, I would say just, you know, jump off the cliff, see if you can fly. Exactly, and just... And we're all still, we're all flapping away. Yeah. And you'll find most that, you know, I've not had this smooth sort of, oh yeah, I just went straight into work. And Mm. maybe a few people have, you know, gone straight into big, big films but yeah. you know you, nobody stays at that level forever no it's of a, course not it's a it's a such a complex complicated up and down up and mm. down but you know i was saying before about early jobs when i think jobs i went into and i remember going up for this thing called faith that i did with christine tramarco yeah yeah i love christine oh she's brilliant and yeah. and i remember i'd audition oh i don't I'd auditioned for, I'd got an audition for a little part in it mm. and I read it and it was a set around the minor track and I was like, I really want to play this, one of the sisters. Mm. And I went in and David Thacker was auditioning and I said, I read it and he said, have you got any questions? I went, I don't want to play this part. And mm. he said, I'm sorry. I said, I want to play one of the sisters. He says, well, we've already cast one of the sisters, Christine Tramarco. And I was like, and I love, I was like, yeah. huge, I was a bit in awe with Christine. Yeah. Well, I'm still a bit in awe with Christine. But I was like, oh my God, Christine's my God, I've no one to be in it now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He said, I couldn't audition you for the other sister. And I was so like, I remember getting quite upset. And I was like, yes, please. And he said, but tell me why. And I'd given mm. this big monologue about why I felt I should play this part and why I should be in it and not that little part. And yeah. then I read for it. And I remember him, still remember him stood at the window, looking out the window. And he went, anyway, thank you, Maxine. Goodbye. And I, I'm gonna, I had to go to Doncaster to audition. And I was on the train station at Doncaster. And I rung my agent and I went, I've just really messed up. Messed up. She went, what did you do? I said, I told him I didn't want to play that little part. I wanted to play the bigger part. And then I cried and then he let me audition for it. <laughs> and then he just started staring out the window. Uh, and then I bumped into Christine in a pub in East London. I was like, oh my goodness, I've just auditioned for this thing. She went, I'll have a word with him. Really? <laughs> I love and I don't know. And then I got a call saying, you've got it. Oh, amazing. And then we, you know, we played sisters and it was brilliant. Oh God, love that. <laughs> well, listen, I could literally Sorry, talk I for hours. I could literally talk for hours. <laughs> It's been amazing having you on. Oh, no, thank you. Honor. Thanks for letting pleasure. me. Because you never normally get to sort of just Just have talk a chat. Yeah, and yeah, just yeah, talk yeah, about yeah, acting yeah. And, and what it what it means to you, you know, because sometimes you can you can forget a lot yeah. of the time. Yeah, and I think it'll mean, it, it will be, like like I said at the beginning, the whole idea of this is to, to show people that, it, you know, you can do it. Yeah, you can. You, can do you it. really can. Yeah. You can't, and, 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 and acting's not, it's not that hard, no. really. You just need an imagination. Yeah. You just need to tap into imagination. And a bit it's of confidence. Not, it's not, and that's, you know, and and I think what is hard, it's the confidence, and they get hard when you come from, like, working class backgrounds like we do, because we're not told to be confident, and it's a million miles away. Mm. And, you know, actors, who was an actor? Did I know? I didn't know anybody who was, yeah. you know, and when you, it's that whole thing, if you, if you can't see it, you can't be it, can yeah. you? You know, if exactly. you don't. But you just, it's not, and I just got, and I'm sure like you just got through with, I want to do this. Nobody's telling me I can't, you know what I mean? Yeah. I can't. I'm sure if people said, oh, you're brilliant early on. Oh, yes, come and be an actor. I'd be yeah. like, oh, I'm bored now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, no, no, thanks. You're all right. Oh, but no, because but... people told me I couldn't and yeah, I wouldn't. Yeah, yeah. Then you just, you know, you're all right. Oh, all right. Okay. Yeah. And what's hard is as you get older and people stop because it's not whether they still think you can, but because you've got a CV behind you and sometimes they still need a bit of that. Just to... So when yeah. people say no thanks, I'm like, oh, I'm angry, but I go, thanks for that. Yeah, yeah, Because I yeah, need yeah, that, yeah, yeah. you know, yeah. that little bit of injection of, yeah. you know, you've got to keep 
because I sometimes think I'm not that much better than when I started out really I mean of course you get of course you do more experience and you learn how yeah. more about camera technique and being in front of the camera and just working with actors and you just get confident but it is it's 99% confidence isn't it yeah acting? absolutely absolutely but it is be confident be present listen yeah learn your lines and learn your lines learn, learn your, your lines. lines learn your lines learn your lines but not, just... not too much so that you can't go off a little no, bit no exactly you know what exactly. I mean be, be, be open to it yeah yeah and, just, it's, and it is fun yeah it's real fun yeah. yeah you know but yeah but anybody 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 can anybody because yeah. it is about it's just about being one thing we all are is, is human and I would be every with each other and yeah. we've all got that yeah, so, yeah. exactly yeah Thank you so Thank much. Thank you, it's a pleasure. Oh, amazing. <laughs> Thanks very much. Cheers.